the days of Elijah, declaring the word of the Lord. And these are the days of your servant Moses, righteousness being restored. And though these are days of great trials, of famine and darkness and sword, still we are the voice in the desert, crying, prepare ye the way. to your favorite Sunday evening program, Restoration Hour. By His grace, we're back on Saturday to continue where we stopped. And I've just replied, we promised. Today, we're going to be able to really go and enable us, I believe, to delve deeper into this subject and this issue. That we might be aware of the contemporary things happening around us and what the mind of God is concerning this season. I mean, these things. What are the signs of these times and what times are we actually living in? Now, let's go to the 10 horns. Praise the Lord. He said the beast that carried that had seven heads and ten horns. Seven heads and ten horns. Seven heads and ten horns. We have identified the seven heads. Now let's identify the ten horns. Praise the Lord. Now go back to Daniel chapter 2. Let's go back to the Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Okay. Daniel chapter 2. Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Praise the Lord. I hope the listeners have been following us because we now are the ten toes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Chapter 2, verse 1. Let's start from verse uh, 40. Daniel chapter 2, verse 40. Verse 40 says, yes. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. Yes. For as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Now listen, listen, watch it. I want to listen, uh, the audience to see. This is the first kingdom according to Nebuchadnezzar's vision. Mm -hmm. First kingdom, second kingdom, third kingdom, and the fourth kingdom. When he's talking about the fourth kingdom, he's talking about the Romans. The, until the Romans came, there had been no military might than that. And like the Romans, Roman and Roman and military might. Oh boy, that was a crushing military power. Amen. The Romans. Praise the Lord. And he said, the fourth kingdom shall be what? Like as strong as iron. Amen. Yes. Yes. Continue, continue, brother. And the fourth kingdom, uh, verse. Uh, you are reading verse forty-one now. Forty-one. Okay. Oh, the, no, verse forty. Forty. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. For yes. As much as iron breaketh in pieces. Yes. Iron. Yes. And subdueth all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Amen. Now listen. This is the iron. Verse forty is talking about this place. Amen. Now let's go to verse 41 now. And where hast thou saw the feet and toes? The feet and toes. Part of Porthos clay. Yes. And part of iron. Yes. The kingdom shall be divided. Mm -hmm. For there shall be need of the strength of the iron. Mm -hmm. For as much as thou saw the iron mixed with clay. Okay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay. Now listen so to me. So the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Now listen to me. When the when this fourth kingdom started, we only had a iron. We only know that they had two legs. Yes. Every human being has two legs. That's so true. this is the Roman kingdom with the two legs. East and West. Mm. East and West. Praise the Lord. Mm. Now we spoke about, we were talking about iron, iron, iron. Up to this point, the ankle was still talking about iron. Mm. All the clear suddenly come out. Praise the Lord. Mm. There was no talk about anything that was not a metal until we got to the toes. Mm. Praise the Lord. Now, mm. between the, between this leg here and this ankle area, some a, a lot of transformation had occurred in the world governance. What happened was that when the papacy lost its control all over the world, mm. independence came all over the nation. Mm. The idea of democracy came. Mm. Let everybody be able to rule themselves Amen. That is how every nation got to have their own identity. Praise the Lord. But that now gave back to another human idea called communism. 
Communism is the claim. Communism is an original idea of human beings, and that idea came from even the capitalist bishop. Amen. Amen. It was designed to collapse. Communism was designed to, to, fail. to fail. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, I, when you get to the toes, you have how many toes in your in your leg? Ten. You have ten. Are you sure? Yes. Of <laughs> five years. Five years. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the Bible said, in each of the toes there is iron and clay. Each of the toes you have iron and clay. Iron and clay, iron and clay, iron and clay. So we're not talking about the disintegration, praise the Lord. We're talking about the disintegration of the Roman Empire here. The disintegration of the Roman Empire. And it now disintegrated into what you call the capitalist countries and the communist countries. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So when you check, check them, you have 10 here, 10 here. Praise the Lord. I don't have time to go into all that now. You have the 10 iron countries, you have the 10 clear countries. Because when when Russia, the USSR, disintegrated, it disintegrated into 10 constituent countries. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Until that happened, remember, after the First and the Second World War, the whole Europe was devastated. After the First and the Second World War, the whole Europe was devastated. They had already lost in military man, economic man, their, their political might was devastated. Two giant powers came out after the Second World War. The New World of the United States of America and Russia. Praise the Lord. I, I hope you follow me now. You see, after the Second World War, Russia became a dominant power, America became a dominant power. Now, by, by reason of logistics, by reason of distance, America has a lot of problems moving over a great distance to this place. That's true. Now, if they don't do something very fast, if America doesn't do something very fast, this rising power here is going to dominate the whole of this continent. And if they dominate the whole of this continent, they will, they will not be able to match the power of Russia. So what did America do? America decided to work on a theory, and they decided to start re-engineering re all the countries here. They brought them into a treaty, a treaty called North Atlantic Treaty Organization. What did I say? North Atlantic Treaty Organization. It's called NATO. Praise the Lord. The idea of America is that, look, if we help this country to recover, if we help United Kingdom to recover, if we help Spain to recover, if we help France to recover, if we help Italy to recover, if we help Germany to recover, if we help all these countries there to recover, they can stand as our block against this iron advance, of, the advance of the Red Army. If we don't do something, if we don't help them to recover, the Red Army will overrun them just like the way Hitler has been overrunning. Just like the way Mussolini and all, the, all, the, this, uh, all these people have been overrunning. So let's do something. So what America did was that they started helping Europe. They called them Western Europe okay. to recover. They taught them democracy. They explained to them, you know, they started helping them military and everything. And they become a coalition called NATO. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, Russia has seen that. Russia had to set up its own people. They call them Warsaw Pact countries. Warsaw Pact countries. All the countries that are in this area that can come under communi com communism. They saw the Warsaw Pact. But while they were forming NATO and Warsaw, God was looking because God was seeing the ten tools. Iron and clay. Iron and clay. And in 1989, and in 1989, you know, after Gobert has come on scene and has brought a uh, glass nose and Paris choker, at the end of the day you have what they call the disappearance of the iron curtain. The Cold War was over. The East and the West marched together. Praise the Lord. There was no more communism as has been spoken. No more communism. Now let's check verse. Uh, let's let's read verse, verse forty-one now. Read. Verse forty-one of Daniel chapter two. Right? Yes. Verse 1 says, And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, yes. 
part of Potter's Tree and part of Iron, the kingdom shall be divided. And what is that soil, the feet and toes, part of Potter's Tree and part of Iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be a need of the strength of the iron, for as much as thou sowest the iron mixed with merry clay. Now, he said, for as much you see the iron mixed with merry clay. Is it not strange? How can iron mix with clay? Have you ever seen iron mixing with clay? No. Something is responsible for the iron mixing with clay. Yes. The iron mixing with clay. Yes. Now, angels, fallen angels, have started coming into clay. Yes. Again, just like the way they came into clay in Genesis chapter 6, yes. fallen angels have started showing up again in the in, in, in speeding up prophecy. Mm -hmm. Brother, please, foreign angels are already in place. They are already working. In, in, uh, children of God should watch out because a lot of things are going to look like this and they are not actually this. They are going to be look like, like mm -hmm. this. That is why the Bible always says, when it comes to the issue of entrance, it says, here is the mind that has wisdom. Here is the mind that has wisdom. Now he said, continue, read verse 42 now. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron mm -hmm. and part of clay, mm -hmm. so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Verse 43, very essential. And, and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miracles, mm -hmm. they shall mingle themselves with the seed with the seed of men. He said, they shall mingle themselves with, with the seed, seed of, of men. men. Who are the they who will mingle themselves with the seed of men? Whoever they who shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, those days, were not men. they were not mere men, praise God. These are the princes. And these are the princes that influence what happened in September 11. I told you that Osama bin Laden was just a stupid, a man. Praise the Lord. Let me tell you something now. The real issue is that the powers that rule Western Europe, who control economy, which is the same power of the, of the iron, they are the same power that has come. Finally, listen to me. Finally, these people here, they don't need this man to strengthen them anymore. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. The, the, this revived Roman Empire here, yes. they don't need the dominance of the United States anymore. So how can they do, how can they do away with the dominance of the United States? They have to rob this United States. And the United States have been robbed. September 11, the World Trade Center that was here was smitting. And the economy of the United States is not going to recover. The military might of the United States is on the test. Where is the United States using all its, wasting all its powers now? This same area, Afghanistan. And everybody in Europe, they are watching. Hallelujah. They are watching America waste its power. The same way Europe lost out militarily and financially and everything after the first and second world war that is the same way america is going to devastate itself and when they devastate itself then they tend to you know they have now mixed now mm. the fallen angels have mixed themselves with it mm. then you now have the revived roman empire who was responsible for everything that we are seeing it is the revived roman empire praise the lord you want me to identify it is the revived roman empire and who is in charge? The beast. The beast that has seven heads and ten horns. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let's quickly run. Now that we have seen that ten tools, mm. the ten tools of iron and clay. Uh, um, uh, another time I will identify the countries one by one for you. Right. Because in the EEC countries now, you now, have, you now have ten countries now that have formed Europe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, Praise. Just write me, I'll get all these facts for you. I need to run quickly. Let's go to Daniel, chapter, uh, Romans, uh, Revelation chapter 17. If I get there before you, I will read. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 17. We are not going to be able to conclude today. Now, Revelation chapter 17, uh, verse 9. Read verse 9. And here is the mind which hath wisdom. Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sitteth. Mm -hmm. And there are seven kings. Yes. Five are fallen. Now, I want to explain that, that there are seven kings, mm -hmm. five are fallen. Mm -hmm. He said there are seven kings. You know there are Egypt, Assyria, mm -hmm. Babylon, Medio Persian, Grecian, Rome, and Papa Rome. Mm -hmm. Now, at the time John the Revelator was writing this, it was AD, A, 96 AD. 96 AD. Mm -hmm. Are you saying yes. the Roman under papacy had not come? Yes. 
Because still the Romans under the Caesar, mm. they were the ones that killed the apostles anyway. Mm -hmm. He said, at that time, he said, five are falling. Mm. Which five are falling? Egypt has fallen, Assyria has fallen, mm. Babylonian has fallen, Mediopatian has fallen, Grecian has fallen. The one that was ruling at that time was the sixth, which was the Roman the Ro Roman Empire under the Caesars. Okay? Right? Verse 1 to the end. He said, verse 10. Nine. Okay. And there are seven kings. Yes. Five are fallen. Yes. And one is. One is. That's the Roman under Rome, under the, under the Caesars. When the period was rising. Yes. 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 One is. And the other is not yet come. Yes, the Rome, Rome under the papacy was not yet come. Okay. okay? And when he comes, he must continue a short space. When he comes, he must continue a short space. So the Ro Rome under Catholicism came, mm -hmm. and he came, and he continued over into a short space. Continue. Mm -hmm. Right. And the beast that that was is not. And the beast that was is not. And is not. And okay. And the beast that was and is not. Even he is the eighth. Now listen to me. Listen. He said the beast that was and, and is it. not is and he is. Just like even, Jesus. Even he is mm -hmm. the eighth. Even the, he is the eighth. That means the beast that is coming, that is going to be the eighth empire. Are you getting it? Yes. Is of the seven. That means all the seven will combine their powers in the eighth, which is the beast. Mm -hmm. So, Egypt, Assyria, Babylonian, Mediopatian, Grecian, Roman, Roman under papacy, all their powers and the princes, the satanic agents, the satanic power that bars all the seven up will be revived under the eighth. Mm -hmm. And that eighth is what is called the New World Order. And that New World Order is going to be assisted by Mystery Babylon, that woman, mm -hmm. which is the power from Rome. Praise the Lord, which is the power from, that is going to supply the religious part to it. Then the ten toes will end edit. Praise the Lord. Now you're going to see why September 11 happened. Read it, read it, continue. Okay. Um, 11, and, 11. And the being that was it, and is and it not, even he is the eighth, yes. and is of the seven. It's of the seven. He didn't say it's of the seven. He said it's of the seven. Mm -hmm. All the power of the seven is inside the eighth. Praise the Lord. Continue. And he's of the seven. And it goes into perdition. It goes into perdition. That's the Antichrist. Yes. Yes. And the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. Which the, have received no kings. The king. ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. The ten mixture of iron and clay that will come from Europe, continental Europe. They used to be the old Roman Empire. They are now revived. That's why Europe is going to Europe. The euro is going to be more stronger than the dollar now. Mm. You will see it is going to be stronger than the, the dollar. dollar. You Are you following me now? Because the dollar is already dealt with. Mm. So the whole attention of the world is coming back here. Mm. Praise the Lord. Remember, this is where it preaches you. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I want you to remember this was where the area where the Garden of Eden was. Mm. Amen. Praise mm. the Lord. They are all coming back here now. Praise the Lord. Mm. Continue. Okay. Okay. Verse 12, verse 12. And the thing was with that, so it are kings which have received no kingdom as yet. They have received no kingdom. None of them is ruling as a world power yet. Yes. Amen. Continue. For receive power as kings, one hour with the beast. They receive power with eh? as kings, as kings, yes. one hour with the beast. When is the day of one hour? September 11 was the day God turned all the body's attention to the issue of one hour. So because of this, what happened on September 11, one hour of that September 11, all these people will now be kings together with the power of the beast. Hallelujah. Then you have emergence of a new world empire called Europe, revived Roman Empire. And whoever come out as their ruler is the Antichrist, Kabusa Toriba Kashira. Amen. Praise the Lord. And these people are the ones that were responsible to what happened to the United States of America. I, I'm sorry for America. I'm sorry. I want you to look at this book. Try and find it out. Amen. Praise the Lord. There is a, there is a gang up in the spirit. There is a gang up everywhere. And everyone must know. Be sure who you are following. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. This is the hour of temptation. 
This is the hour that God said, I'm going to deliver you from the hour of temptation that is going to try the whole world. Praise the Lord. I'm going to deliver you. Re 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 book of Revelation chapter 3. He said, because you have kept the word of my patience, he said, I will deliver you from the hour of temptation that is going to try the whole world. This is the hour of temptation that is going to try the whole world. I want to tell you that Osama bin Laden is not the Antichrist. It's too, it's too easy. Osama, whoever is going to be the Antichrist is going to be the one that will bring world peace after this disaster. He's going to be the one that will bring world peace. In the book of Daniel, the Bible said, through his policy, he will cause craft and industry to to blossom and to come into prosperity. He will come to the kingdom through through factory. And he's going to need the cooperation of the ten toes and the ten toes of iron and clay. The ten toes of iron and clay is actually talking about twenty nations. Many people don't know. He's talking about twenty nations. Yes. Praise the Lord. And it's strong ten with ten weeks to come together into an amalgamation. And when you are now talking about that, America has been forgotten. Brother, America is not existing. America is gone. Praise the Lord. But you may disagree with me. But let me tell you something. Did Nigeria recover after June 12? If you say Nigeria recover, then I agree. America will recover. But brother, has, have, has Nigeria been the same again after June 12? No. Is it the, 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 when you see dead bodies on the street, now was, it, did it, was it like before? Amorabi? Eth ethnicity? Praise the Lord. We need to pray for Nigeria, yes. we need to pray for the world. And if you don't know Jesus, you have an opportunity to receive Jesus into your life right now. I want you to bow down your head and pray with me right now. Because the word of God is true. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you are of all men to be pitied because you can't escape all the wrath that is coming now. You know, satanic angels are already all around. Even ministers of God are getting confused, those who don't know the secret. He said, here is the mind that has wisdom. So miracles alone cannot save you now. You need to know the depth of the word of God. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, I'm going to pray with you. I want you to say after me, Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I want you to forgive me. I cannot confess all my sins because they are too many. But I yield myself today. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I agree that you died on the cross for me. That it is because of me that you died on the cross. I accept the truth of the word of God that says, He who knew no sin became sin for me. And I took over God's own righteousness. Father, I accept your death on the Calvary, on the Calvary for the remission of my sins and for the forgiveness of my sins. Come into my life now. I will not be the same again, Father. I am deeply sorry for all my sins. Rule my life from today. I want to serve you. Live in my life. Let the Holy Ghost fill my life all over. I submit unto you, Father. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I am now born again. Father, as many as have prayed this prayer with me right now, let your power touch them. Let your power touch them. The salvation power touch them. Let the Holy Ghost envelope their mind, illuminate their mind, give them understanding, change their life permanently in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let salvation enter your home. Let deliverance enter your home. Let peace and prosperity enter your home. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.
country. Why we are born at this generation, people are not going to understand. We are not going to have the privilege of appreciating the ministry of Pastor Oladili Oladili. My humble self, Brasov, Oladili, my humble self, Brasov, and then my colleague and friend, Brasili, who is the with me. Praise the Lord. And the entire brother fellowship, praise the Lord. It is because these are the same times. These are the times when God has put some people in place to interpret the signs of the season, praise the Lord. So that we will now know the significance of the signs of the season, praise the Lord. Amen. Now the topic we are going to be dealing with today is called American disaster, the emergence of the new world order. American disaster. The emergence of the new world. I want you to tell you to stop watching CNN for some few minutes. Now listen to me carefully and make sure you buy this tape and the tape that will come subsequently because we are going to unveil the apocalypse. We're going to see that this world can never be the same again. Praise the Lord. After, after the incident of Tuesday, this world can never be the same. So people don't know that there are some dates that were written on the pyramid. Some dates were written on the pyramid. And the last date on the pyramid in Egypt is September 2001. The last date on the pyramid in Egypt is in September 2001. The last date. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. Here we go. I'm saying that I've never had it. You mean actually on the pyramid? There, there, there are numbers. There are some dates that have been written on the pyramid. The pyramid, the, there's a great pyramid. The great one, the original one, the big one, the biggest one. Okay. There are some dates there. Okay? And we have been good prophetic watchers, you know, guided by the Ministry of Prince uh, and Privy. We've been watching the date. And we know that the last date on that pyramid is September 2000. Now, what can I do? What you do, what you do is that um, let's prepare against this for our subsequent recording. Okay, I'm next I will bring your facts for you. Okay, okay, okay. praise the Lord. Okay. You know, I've always, I've always backed up whatever I, I, I know. I remember from the days of the I know, I know. And while you are talking the other time, you mentioned something about September. Yes. On the night of September, when I wrote the date, I saw 9 9 2001, I said, Oh, this is significant. Mm -hmm. 9 is the number of judgment. What is 9? 9 means judgment. 9 is the number of judgment. So when I saw 9 9, I said, Oh, 9 mm -hmm. judgment. What oh, was Tuesday last week? Tuesday last week was 11, which means confirmation, the beginning of those judgments. Okay. 1 1. Okay. The beginning of those judgments. 1 1. Okay. You know, when Jesus is very, very easy, mm -hmm. it means that he's emphasizing. Mm -hmm. One means the beginning of those children. Nine is the number of children. Mm -hmm. And you also mentioned that last, exactly last year, in September, that was when Uriah uh, Sharon went into mm -hmm. the Temple Mount to pray. And that led to the fury of the Palestinians. Then yes. Jupiter yes. started again, mm -hmm. and the violence escalated. And they are still in that violence. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of this Amanda of I want to know. Please note it down. I'm going to give you a chance. Yeah. Write all these important questions down. Okay. Why is it that the World Trade Center was hit? It's a thing. You say, Super so, what are you saying? I say it in the Bible. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm going to show you why it was the World Trade Center. And a lot of people have heard about uh, this man, uh, Nostradamus. Yes. You Nostradamus know, spoke about it. I'm going to read some portions from Nostradamus to you today. Okay. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And then um, you see, you, you cannot have run properly. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. It will come to pass. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Now, what is really the essence of this ministry? Let's open to Isaiah 25. You will now know the importance of this ministry. The brethren. Now, now let me, I want you to understand what I'm saying. This means have the spiritual fulfillment and the physical fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Now, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Bible says you have the natural force before you have the spiritual. Mm -hmm. yeah, so let me read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 for you. Because 
some of you may say, no, I disagree. What does the church need to do? No, no. Listen to me, chill, cool down. Cool down. <laughs> On this mountain, the Lord will make a feast of fasting. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, the Lord knows what he's doing. First Corinthians chapter 15. I want you to read verse, uh, verse 46. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 46. What did he say? Verse 46. Yeah. Be how big? How big? That was not first. That was not first, which is spiritual. So it is not the spiritual fulfillment that will occur first. Okay. For that which is natural. Which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual. So when the fulfillment is coming, what will happen is that the natural fulfillment will first occur mm -hmm. before the spiritual fulfillment will occur. Okay. Hallelujah. Yes. Babylon has two sides. Mm -hmm. Religious Babylon and the commercial Babylon. Mm -hmm. The commercial Babylon is the natural path. The, the spiritual Babylon is the religious Babylon. The, 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 the location of Babylon has two points. The commercial, which is New York City, and the religious, which is the Vatican. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 So now the first fulfillment is this. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, he said, I am leader verse 8 of the Revelation 18 again. Revelation 18. Yes, verse 8. Yes, verse 7. Verse 7, okay. Yes. How much she has glorified her first yes. and lived deliciously. Mm. So much torment and sorrow she I mean so much torment and sorrow give her. Mm. For she said in her heart, mm. I seek no queen mm. and I am no widow mm -hmm. and can see no sorrow. Mm. Therefore shall her place come in one day. One day. One one nine two thousand and one. One day. Continue, continue. Death and money mm -hmm. and famine, and she shall be utterly born with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. Now I want you to understand that when you are writing, when you are reading prophetic scripture, you can misunderstand. Mm -hmm. We are not saying it was God that sent fire to me. Mm -hmm. We are just saying because when the prophet is writing, the prophet sees everything according to the writings of Amos. Mm -hmm. Let me read Amos for you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you the way prophets write. Okay? Hmm. Okay. Let me let's look let's look to Amos now. Let okay. me tell you something about Amos. Okay. So you will now understand that, you know, there are times when a prophetic when you are reading prophetic statement, you can be faulted if somebody does not have the basic the understanding of prophetic statement. Will a lion roar in the poor okay, sorry. Will a lion roar in the forest mm -hmm. when he has no priest mm -hmm. or prey? Yes. Will a young lion cry out of his den? Mm -hmm. If he have taken nothing, mm -hmm. can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gene is for him? When no trap has been set for it, can a god just fall? Shall one take up a snare from the earth? Mm -hmm. I have taken nothing at all. Mm -hmm. Shall a thunder be gone in the city and the people not be afraid? Yes. Shall that be even a city and the Lord have not done it? Look. Look at that statement. Shall, shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? Hey, that's Amos chapter 3, verse what? Verse 4 and 6. Which verse is that? Well, that? That's verse 6. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord has not done it? The meaning of that is God is not responsible for evil. That when spiritual laws are broken, evil will come. Mm. And human beings will see it as God's judgment. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. If you climb a if you climb a chair that has only one leg and you fall down, it, it is not God that made you fall. You broke the law of gravity. Mm. Are you getting it? Yes. And some people call it Amuwa alone. Mm. You know, there are so many things that they say is Amuwa alone. And it is not God. Exactly. It is Satan. Satan is stretching down. Mm. Are you, hallelujah. Yes. No, come finish it. Oh, finish it. Shall there be evil in the Lord and the Lord and the Lord so has shall not shall done it? Shall the thunder be gone in the sea and the yes. people not be afraid? Yes. Shall there be evil in the sea and the Lord have not done it? Yes. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. But he reveals his secret. He reveals the secret unto his servant, the prophet. Surely the Lord God will not do anything, but he reveals the secret to his servant, mm -hmm. the prophet. The prophet. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Please, don't you forget that. Now let's go back to Revelation 18 that we are reading. Okay. Hallelujah. Right. I want to see why you are looking to Revelation 18. I will read that to you again. Okay. He said, Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord has not done it? Mm -hmm. That was the understanding of 
prophet Amos at that time, because they were not in the Old Testament, they were not fully conscious of the working of demons, demons and fallen, fallen angels. Yeah. And here, the righteous laws are broken. Demons and fallen angels, they have it, they have a legal room to operate. They have a legal room to operate and they cause massive death of people. Look at the massive number of people that died that day. A lot of them went straight to hell because they never knew Jesus. But those of them who have given their life to Jesus at that time, they will be with us on the day of rapture. The, 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 the Bible said, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And those of us who are alive and are living and remain, we shall be caught up together with them in, in the sky. And there we will be with Christ and we will reign with him forevermore. So if you are one of those who lost, who lost some loved ones and they know Jesus, there's no need to mourn. Of course, you're going to miss them, but know that the dead in Christ are right for But if you have, if you know anybody that died in their Christ and never knew Jesus, oh, you need to cry. You need to cry so much. You need to cry. But if the cry will not help you, you need to give your life to Jesus today. Today, don't delay. Today, acknowledge Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And get it oh. because it can be your turn tomorrow. Brother, when, have you not noticed? In all the news media, the upsurge up of occultism. Yes. All the things we used to say that are wrong before, mm -hmm. we are now glorifying them in the name of alternative medicine. Mm -hmm. On the television now, on the radio, you have all kinds of advertisements mm -hmm. about juju, mm -hmm. about uh, all kinds yes. of every evil, evil past of the devil is now being glorified. Mm -hmm. And you are now having some strange character who have found themselves, mongled themselves into Christianity. They, they, they are the false seeds in Christianity. They say, it doesn't matter. We are all serving the same God. I'm not serving the same God with the devils and demons. The people of violence are not serving the same God. Praise the Lord. You fight for your God. No, 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 no. I don't need to fight for my God. My God can fight for me. No. Are you following me? But there are some strange people. They have learned how Christians dress. They have learned how Christians preach. They have learned how the new ministers of God preach. They mimic the new Christians to the new ministers of God to the point that the way they minister, the way they lay hands on the sick and whatever, the way they do all that, you see them, you can see them everywhere. And they don't have any doctrine that is founded on Jesus. Any preacher that is preaching to you and is afraid to mention the name of Jesus and is always preaching and saying, God, 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 God. Beware of those who cannot mention Jesus, but mention God. God, you know, the Bible says in the book of uh, James, He said, you, you say you, 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 you believe in God. He said, you do, uh, you try. You the believe devil, in God. Oh. Even the devil does. The devil does. The devil believes in God and trembles. When you hear about God, he trembles. But that has not changed the devil from being the devil. So, your believing in God has not changed you. Do you believe in Jesus? You believe that there is the only way, the truth and the life. That is what makes the difference. Some people are so, even some people are so, they say, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord. Okay, praise God, Jesus is Lord. But do you know that Jesus is the Lord? He's not just only Lord. Jesus is the Lord. And I'm very dogmatic about that. I'm very, very dogmatic about it. And these are the things that will keep you from the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is coming. That is the time. Let me tell you something. And he says, yeah, he says, all religions, all false religions will return unto her. She is called the super peace, the allied whore, the queen of the night region, darkness. Are, are you getting it? Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, in another place, he read the prophecy. He said, beware, O nation of Israel. This Antichrist is not your friend, but too late thy enemy has possessed thee. He said, that thing, he was prophesying. This was in probably 1992. He wrote this thing. He said, this same personality will stir up trouble in Africa, Persia, Persia is Iran, Egypt, Turkey, and certain places in the Arabian Empire. He said, the Lord has given me many events for the later ages. That means, he wrote this before 1980. Are you getting it? That will be released at the proper time. Let us pray and what Jesus returns is coming near us and the, and the time is short. Lord, I want you to listen carefully. We respect all 
of the men of God in this nation. We, we, we respect the evangelicals, we respect the gospel, we respect the apostolic, we respect everybody, we are all working in divine year. But this is the hour of the prophetic and the apostolic. When the sounding must be loud, don't take the mark for your soul. Because the mark of the body is not the first mark that comes. It is the mark of the soul that comes forth before the mark of the body. When Satan marks your soul, definitely will mark your body. And what do I mean by marking your soul? When you get the wrong gospel, you are gone. Amen. Here is the passing of the water. Amen. We are going to declare some things tonight. Revelation chapter 6. We are starting from here. The topic of the message is America's disaster. The emergence of the new world order. Part 3. America's disaster. The emergence of the new world order. And I invite those of you who are listening on television. It is true that we have a book that we read called the Scroll Book. If you don't understand that book, at least you understand the Bible. We are going to read from the Bible, I'm going to read from the book. And by the fruit you see, you will judge whether what we are saying is true or not. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Revelation chapter 6. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, and one of the beasts saying, Come and see. I want you to know that in the original text, and see is not there. Come was only there. Praise the Lord. Come, that means there is a motivation, enter something. You must enter something. Praise the Lord. And I saw, behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Every time you see white, it depicts peace, holiness, purity. Praise the Lord. But we want to talk to the souls of men today that these are deceptive times. What you see as holiness may not mean holiness. What your intellect is telling you that is right may not be right. The Bible remains true. In the times of the Bible, the only means, the only vehicle of transportation are horses, camels, and animals. And there is a power back up with movement. When they go to war, they go to war on horses because horses are so sweet and powerful and resilient. Praise the Lord. And that is what we are carried over into the present world. For those of us who are scientists, when you calculate power, you say two of power, three of power, four of power. You use it you use the measurement of the hot power. This is typing the power that is going to come on the thing. Alas, that has already come on the thing. Except you have somebody who is guiding you now. This is not seven steps to prosperity. This is not three trees to break through. This is not oil, this is not mantle, because these ones will not save you now. What will save you now is prophetic understanding. Because there are some things that will appear as white horses to you, and they are horses of the sea. 
you will need to subscribe to the message that has once been preached on this same channel by our pastor called the Revelation of the Seven Seals. It will be important that you, look, you, you, you subscribe to those church and listen to them. You cannot afford to do without these messages now if you want to make the rapture. Praise the Lord. Clinton left the government with prosperity, economic prosperity. Bush got their recession started. In the risk of recession, this happened. How many of you have noticed that major airlines, not only in America, but all over the world, they started cutting staff strength? I'm not talking about hundreds, 20,000, 25,000. Lufthansa said they declared, pro they declared loss ahead and they cut off staff strength. Everybody cutting off staff strength. Every do you know what is happening? Some people are playing with world economy. Some people are playing with world economy. And they know that I know them. Praise the Lord. This is the time for us to live supernaturally. Because if you put your trust in banks, they can fail overnight. I am worried for those who have invested heavily in the American economy. Because America will not recover from this one. According to prophecy, there are only three dominant powers that will be in the days of this king. And they are the mystery Babylon, the whole mother in Rome, the revived empire, the EEC, the common market country, and the king of the east, the Russian, the Chinese, the dragon, and all of them. Three powers. America had been the big brother and the EU had been the small brother, being brought up gradually, brought up. Suddenly, since 11th of September, the big brother will now become the young brother. And the small boy will now become the controlling boy. Watch out. I heard that in October, the EU is going to be launched. When you want to travel, what do you change your money to? What do you change your money to? I'm sorry for the people dealing in borrowed exchange. Because your dollar may be canker soon. Because you will need to have another rate. It has to be the euro. The euro has to be stronger than the dollar. If what we are reading in this Bible is true. But I want to tell America and there are citizens that are here that you need to go back to God. Abraham Lincoln led you in prayer to God. that have been going on, no time, at least in recent history, would you have seen the kind of unity that has come behind Mr. Bush. All night yesterday, a few of the things that he has spoken, I just want to emphasize something to you from Isaiah chapter 45, speaking again concerning the events Speaking again concerning the reaction of America, why the steps they are taking are the wrong steps. The Lord said to me, through the scriptures, and I'm going to emphasize verses 4 and 5. 
for the sake of Jacob my servant and Israel my chosen one I have called you by name I have given you a title though you do not do what you do not know me if you listen to the relief that is said to have been given by Bin Laden Every other thing that has been said concerning Mr. Bush, he says it's a crusader that is fighting for the Jewish cause. Everything ties back to what? Israel. Praise the Lord. Everything ties back to what? Israel. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. I am the Lord, there is none else, there is no God beside me, I guarded thee, I chose you, I strengthened you, though thou hast not what, known me. So when you are beginning to look for who has done it, look at the word of God, for it declares absolutely in that same scripture, I form the light and create darkness, I make peace. I create what? Evil. I, the Lord, do what? All these things. I brought a multiple translation Bible. Let's hear where I say it again. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace, that is national well-being, and I create physical evil calamity. I am the Lord who does all these things. So that you begin to look for a cause. People are looking for Bin Laden. They are not seeing the handwriting of the great creator on the wall. Come just as you are. Hear the spirit call. Come just as you are. Days of great trials of famine and 
and darkness and sore. Still we are the voice in the desert, crying, prepare ye the way. Viewers to your favorite Sunday evening program, Restoration Hour. Well, today we are going to be continuing where we stopped last week, and we, we are still treating this very, very vital issue, which has to do with the America's disaster, and um, which, uh, which we have targeted the emergence of the New World Order. We believe God will use the ministration, as you'll be listening to today, via the medium of the ministration of this dear brother, which is Brother Tukumo Shokoya, who will be continuing where he stopped last week to bless you tremendously. We thank you for those of you who have called in or have written in, and we do hope that we'll be able to answer your questions. And for you to, who have materials you think will be vital, or have, you have information, we ask you to keep them coming. Let's keep watching together as we expect the coming of our Lord and Master. Of course, pre pre preceding that will be, of course, the emergence of the new world order and the man of sin, the Antichrist himself. <laughs> Pleasure to have you back on stage. Good pleasure to be here. Hallelujah. I'm getting relaxed. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Um, a lot of the things we want to say have been passed across. Passed across. Mm -hmm. There are still so many, mm -hmm. but um, we're going to just try to start rounding up on this subject. Okay. If you remember, what we were planning to go into was uh, the gifts of the Spirit and That's the callings. True. That's and, true. Uh, because um, it's um, it's God by recent events that are happening in the amalgamation, the rearrangement that I'm seeing in the Christian mm -hmm. oh, years is showing that uh, it's still necessary to to give a teaching on the gifts and callings of God. Mm -hmm. You know, to let people know is a who is a who is an evangelist, who is an apostle, who is a prophet and also what role these ministries ought to play in our lives. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now um also I'd like to comment that um, I believe we have done some measure of justice to the issue of world power. Mm -hmm. At least we've been able to let the people know that at the end of interplay of things, America does not have much role to play. Mm -hmm. You know, there is still a role for America to play towards the end. When you go to Ezekiel chapter 36, uh, 37 and 38, mm -hmm. you know, the Gog and the War, Gog and Magog, oh, yes. you know, the Armageddon War, mm -hmm. America came in also mm -hmm. to be part of those who assisted to, to checkmate Russia, mm -hmm. but that would be after a long time okay. they had to gradually recover okay. from what happened okay. because they are not because they need to recover over a long time. Okay. Praise the Lord. Okay. Now, for now, the Antichrist does not need the nuisance of America, mm -hmm. so he has dealt a data blow to America now. Mm -hmm. Whatever is happening to America now is that they are wasting their resources, mm -hmm. they are making the Antichrist to be able to forecast, mm -hmm. to be able to. To, to, to project their, 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 their ability. Mm. It's in the book of Daniel. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, coming back to it, now we'll talk about the world powers, mm. okay? The seven of them, mm. and we're talking about, we have also identified this, the ten tools. Mm. The ten tools are also referred to as the ten heads, uh, ten, ten, uh, the ten tools are referred to as the ten horns. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In several ways, different things like that. Mm -hmm. Now we now I remember you said I said I'm going to talk about one hour and I'm going to talk about the world past and I'm going to talk about the land. Mm -hmm. Now I want us to quickly go into the issue of the land. Okay. You know, all this Ula Balu, what is happening? Is you know it's all about the land? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All this you see, um uh, Osama bin Laden. Uh, Osama, Guru Guru, anything, or the other, is all about a land that the Bible referred to as the pleasant land. Mm -hmm. Let's take off by this. Mm -hmm. Let's open our Bibles to the book of uh, Daniel. Daniel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, somebody will say, why don't you talk about mm -hmm. prosperity? I guess there are a lot of ministers who are talking about that, mm -hmm. and I'm enjoying it. And I'm, I'm, I'm blessing God for God giving them such understanding, amen, amen. that I'm going to stick to my calling, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So that you, we can all have a very good balanced diet in the body of Christ, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, let's go to the book of Daniel. Chapter. Um, I want us to read the 
Daniel chapter chapter 8. Daniel chapter 8. I want you to read verse 9, verses 8 and 9 for me. Verses 8 and 9 says, Therefore the he goat waxed very great. And when he was strong, the great horn was broken. And for it came, for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of the of heaven. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which was exceedingly, exceeding great, toward the south, and toward the east, and toward the pleasant land. The Bible called a place towards the pleasant land. Mm -hmm. Where is the place called pleasant land? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is the he goat? Mm -hmm. Do we do a little bit of exercise of who All the right. he goat is? Yeah, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Coming back, you remember our Nebuchadnezzar's uh, dream. Mm -hmm. Nebuchadnezzar's dream of the head of gold, the breast of silver, mm -hmm. the brass of uh, the, the, the belly of brass, uh -huh. and then the legs of iron. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, this was Nebuchadnezzar's dream. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But God gave Daniel his own revelation too. Mm -hmm. If you go to the book of Daniel chapter 7, can we quickly go to the book of Daniel chapter 7? Daniel, Daniel chapter so. 7. Praise the Lord. Yes. Can you read from verse 1? In the first year of Bestaza, king of Babylon, yeah. Daniel had a dream yeah. and visions of his head upon yeah. his oh, bed. Yeah. Then he wrote the dream yeah. and told him some of the matters. Yes. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, mm -hmm. and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea. That means the four, when he said the four winds of heaven, he said all the powers from the ends of the earth. The, the spiritual powers, they all strove together. Mm. You know, there is no dis there is no unity even in Satan's kingdom. Mm. Hallelujah. There is Hallelujah. no unity. So there is so much discord. Like since uh, I told my daughter this morning when, we're, when I was preparing to come uh, on CNN, there was this man, this OPEC, one of these OPEC ministers, and he was saying that he said, since September 11, the world has come into a new world. And he said the economics, the, the new economic thereof, said we don't know what it's going to turn out to be. Mm -hmm. He said the, it's so uncertain. Mm -hmm. He used the word, the new world. He said the world has come into a new world. Mm -hmm. He said there are so many uncertainties. Mm -hmm. Amen. I there are so many. It. Now I have this. He says uh, after, the, after the air war, what will happen? Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Of course, you can't stay too long in the air. The Bible said in Obadiah, if you build your, if you build your nest in the sky, I will bring you down. Mm -hmm. Gravity will tell you that you can't stay in the air. You still have to come down. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Then, if this other one talk about the fear factor, anthrax all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, can you imagine uh, all over the U.S. now, there's this anthrax entering even the, 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 the highest, highest of places, places through males. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Revelation 11. Mm -hmm. They will send gifts to one another. Mm -hmm. Technology is helping, helping the vows. If you know the judgments, mm -hmm. the judgments, the vows, the trumpet judgments in the river of Revelation. Mm -hmm. Chemical war, mm -hmm. biological jam war. Mm -hmm. All these things are happening now. Mm -hmm. Abingas, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Now, I said there are four winds of the earth straight upon the great sea. Mm -hmm. And we, we, uh, if you want to know what the great sea is, if you let me, I will quickly read somewhere. What is that great sea? Let me quickly read what the sea means to you. Okay. Revelation chapter 17, verse, uh, verse 1. And there, and there came one of the seven angels, which had seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show thee the judgment of the great hall that sitteth upon many waters. Now, that many waters is the great sea. Mm. Are you getting it? Mm. What is the meaning of that great sea or many waters? Mm. Read verse uh, 15. Of that revelation. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, the waters which thou said, or the great sea which mm -hmm. thou speakest, where the whole city are peoples, peoples, and multitudes, multitudes, and nations, and nations, and tongues, multitudes, peoples, nations, nations and, and tongues. tongues. Remember, we said that woman is the false body of Christ, mm he -hmm. seated upon multitudes, mm -hmm. nations, tongues, mm -hmm. and what did you call it? Peoples. peoples. Amen. That is the singular body, you know what that body is, mm. that has ambassadorial status, status in almost every country of the world mm. and is yet not a country. Mm. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And he said this, so that what we need there is the interpretation of the great sea or the waters. Hallelujah. He said Hallelujah. from all peoples, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can go to verse 2 now, Daniel 7 verse 2, uh, verse 3. 
Okay, and four great beasts came up from the sea. Divers one from another. Now, four great beasts. This time around, God is using beasts mm. to describe the kingdoms. Mm. In Daniel, God used metallic parts of a human body. Yes, yes. Now, in, 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 in Nebuchadnezzar, God used metallic, metallic parts. Mm. But in Daniel, God is now using beasts, different types of beasts. Four beasts. Oh, yeah, let's start. The first was like a lion. The first was like a lion. And had eagle's wings. Yes. I beheld till the wings thereof were plugged, mm -hmm. and was lifted up from the earth, mm -hmm. and made stand, and made stand up the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given to it. Now the Bible said the first beast was like a lion. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. And he said this lion had eagle's wings. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yes, and he said till the wings were plugged thereof. And it was lifted up from the, the earth. From the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it was made to stand upon the feet as a man. And a man's heart was given to it. Actually, what God normally does is that when he gives you a revel, he gives you a vision or a, a something that is supposed to be an apocalypse, he will give you keys to be able to tie it to other scriptures. You know, the Bible said the scriptures are not of private interpretation. Yes. So you cannot just put a scripture isolate and it. isolate it. It must be related to other scriptures. So how do we interpret this lion? He said it's a lion and it's like it has eagle's wings. Eagle's wings show prophetic nature. The, the last empire, the only empire out of the seven that had a prophetic nature was Nebuchadnezzar. Hmm. Nebuchadnezzar was able to see for tell. He was able to see. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hmm. And then you will have confused you with Nebuchadnezzar. I will have confused you with Pharaoh. But this time around, he said, this one, the heart of a man was put into it. There were two, actually, there were two world powers that had rulers who had prophetic insight. Mm. Egypt, remember? You remember Pharaoh had a dream yes, yes. of the seven uh, years plenties. of plenty and the seven years, and Daniel interpreted, and uh, um, Joseph. Joseph interpreted. So, just Egypt had... You could say Egypt had wings of an, of an eagle, mm. prophetic for you. Mm. The, one, the next person that had was Babylonian mm. under Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. Praise the Lord. But how do we know whether this lion is talking about Pharaoh or Nebuchadnezzar? Then he said, the only difference, how do you know? He said, till the wings were plugged off, the prophetic insight was removed, the godly anointing was removed, that in the, the gift was removed mm. and he said it was lifted up from the earth that means it stopped being a human being at a point mm. who had the problem with being a human being at the Nebuchadnezzar. Point? Nebuchadnezzar you remember when his heart was lifted yes, from yes, the yes. lifted up you no know? exactly. and he said the, he said I was made to stand upon his feet as a man actually what the what the prophecy is doing is doing a reversal, reversal yes. a reversal mm. so for anybody that does not know the scripture, you won't know that it's Nebuchadnezzar is talking about there. And he said, and a man's heart was given to it. That means it was first a beast, and later a man's heart was given to it. But we know that in real life, what happened was that the man was a man, then a beast heart was given to it. So this lion was, this lion is actually referring to Nebuchadnezzar's head of gold. Hallelujah. And this is lion. This is the line of the first beast. May I continue, brother? Go to verse, uh, verse 5 now. Verse 5. And behold, another beast, the second like to a, like to a bear. Yes. And he raised up his serve one on one side, on one side and he had three ribs in the mouth of, in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it. And he said those unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. Now, it's in this one, he said, And another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it raised itself on one side. What does it mean that it raised itself on one side? It's supposed to have two sides, mm. but one side was more powerful than and the other, other side. Okay. That's what he's saying. Okay. So he's identifying the Mediopatian so, Empire. Uh, he raised his side on one side. It's supposed to have two, two sides. sides. He's saying that the power leaned more on one side than the other. And the power that came after Nebuchadnezzar's power is Mediopatian, which is this one, which is the Mediopatian kingdom. So we now say this is the lion, okay? Mm -hmm. 
This is the beer. Okay. All right. Yes. So it's still, it's still like, it's still like this. And this is Pasha, the Medis and Pasha. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Continue, mm -hmm. brother. After this, I beheld and lo, another like a leopard, mm -hmm. which had, a, which had upon the back of, of it four wings of a fowl, mm -hmm. and the beast had had also four heads. And dominion was given to it. Now, it said after this was another one like a leopard. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Swift like a leopard. Mm -hmm. And he said at the back of it were four wings mm -hmm. of a fowl. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This is talking about the Grecian Empire. Mm -hmm. This is leopard. And I will tell you why it's, it's, it's the leopard. Amen. How do we identify? This is the Grecian Empire. Mm -hmm. What happened was that Alexander the Great came yes. and took over the empire. Mm -hmm. But the Bible said that the history said he lived only for about um, uh, 33 and a half years. Mm -hmm. he, he reigned for only three and a half years. He drank himself to death. Mm -hmm. And after his kingdom, this kingdom was divided into four parts. Mm -hmm. There were four, at the end of the four, four of his generals who were going to power, they shared power among themselves. Mm -hmm. So there are four powers. Out of them came Platoni and all those stuff. I don't want to go into history, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Amen. but we could do all that if we want to, but there is, we need to bring out the spiritual content out of it, praise the Lord. But those who know history will know what I'm talking about. Okay. He said, and if your forehead and dominion was given to it, continue, brother. To this I saw in the night visions, and behold a fourth beast, yes. dreadful and terrible, mm -hmm. and strong exceedingly, mm -hmm. and it had great iron teeth. Mm -hmm. It devoured and break in pieces, mm -hmm. and stamped in the and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the bees that were before it, and had ten horns. Yeah, praise the Lord. This is beautiful. You know, you can tie it to the other one. Mm -hmm. He said, after the leopard came another beast, which is dreadful, which is dreadful from the other ones. Mm -hmm. He even could not give it a name. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now, how do we know which be which power is correct? How which this beast? Which one does it correlate to mm -hmm. in the Nebuchadnezzar's vision? Now you will see the secret. Mm -hmm. He gave a clue. Okay. He said he had great iron teeth. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? Yes. He said. It's he hard. said he had great iron iron teeth. Iron teeth. Now when he said he get eight iron teeth, what is he referring to? The iron legs. Mm -hmm. Row. So this is the fourth beast. Fourth beast. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire mm. under the Caesars. Mm. This one. Mm. Praise the Lord. He said it's great and dreadful. Mm. Remember what how Nebuchadnezzar under Nebuchadnezzar said it was the strongest of them all. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said it, it broke into pieces and it was diverse in militarily mm. from all the ones that were before it. Then this one. He did not talk about whether there was purpose. He just jumped straight to the ten toes. Read it. He said, okay. read the last line. He said, it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and he had ten horns. What are the ten horns? The ten horns? The ten, the ten toes. toes. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Iron and clay. Okay. Continental Europe. Hmm. Western Europe and Eastern Europe. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said he had ten toes. Now let's move forward. This is prophecy now. Go to verse 8. I considered the homes, mm -hmm. and behold, there came all among them. And you know, little let me tell you, when, what, what do you use, what do beasts use horns for? Of course, as a medium of strength to fight. Fight yes. and protection. Yes. Fight and protection. Mm -hmm. Defense and attack. Mm -hmm. So he said he had ten horns. horns. These ten horns are the ones that struck this man dead. The ten horns, they 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 they, they, they the really mind the beast against the eagle, and they really shook the eagle down on September 11. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Continue. I considered the horns and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horns plucked. Now wait, there were ten horns, ten powers, mm. formations, mm. that Re Revelation chapter 17 say those ten agree one hour to give power to the beast. Mm. That same beast is the one that is called little one. Mm. So he said there were ten. He said out of the ten there were three that were becoming naughty. Mm. So out of those three, 
One little one came, uprooted three, and came out. A little one, he uprooted three. the thrones were cast down, mm -hmm. and the ancient of days did sit, mm -hmm. whose garment was white as snow, mm -hmm. and the hair of his head like Now a that is already road. jumping to another thing. Let's, yes. co let's come back. Let's go to verse... Uh, let's, let's now leave that place. I want us to go to verse 17. When the angels started giving the interpretation, let's read from verse 16. I came there mm -hmm. unto one of them one of them that stood by, one of the angels that stood mm -hmm. by, and asked him the truth of all this. Mm -hmm. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of the, of the things. Mm -hmm. This great beast, which are four, are four kings, mm -hmm. which shall arise out of the earth. There are four kings which arise out of the earth: mm -hmm. Babylon, Medio Persian, Grecian, and Rome. Continue. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Mm -hmm. And possess the kingdom forever, yes. even forever and ever. Amen. Then Praise I will know. Then I will know the truth of the fourth beast. The fourth beast is the most important beast of them, yes. which is the Roman. Mm. Mm. So then I will know the truth of the fourth beast, mm. which was diverse from all the others, mm -hmm. exceeding dreadful, mm -hmm. whose teeth were of iron, mm -hmm. and his nails of brass, mm -hmm. which devoured, mm -hmm. break in pieces, and stamped the rest of with his feet. Now I want you to know that this final beast has all the character of the others. That's why it's diverse from all of them. He has all the character of the other, the strength of all of the others. Continue. And of the, and of the things that were in his head, mm -hmm. and of the other which came up, mm -hmm. and before whom three fell, mm -hmm. even of that one that had eyes, mm -hmm. and the man that spake great things, or that spake very great things, whose look was more stout than his fellows. His look was more stout than his fellows. Mm -hmm. Continue. I beheld, and, I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints, and prevailed against them. Okay. This Antichrist made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Brother, this is the time to watch out. You have to be strong now. If you are not strong, with all your sakolo, it will make war against you and prevail. You will just go with another gospel. That's why a lot of people are going to take the mark of the beast and they are going to be preaching the gospel at the same time. Continue, brother. All right, that's verse uh, 21. 20. Now go to 22. On the day of days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Now 23. Thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom. Yes. Upon, upon earth. Yes. Which shall be diverse from all kingdoms, mm -hmm. and shall devour the whole earth, mm -hmm. and shall tread it down, and mm -hmm. break it in pieces. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns, and the ten horns out of this kingdom, are ten kings mm -hmm. that shall arise, mm -hmm. and another shall arise after them. Yeah. The ten said, kings are the... Ten tools. Hmm. 
the ten tools. Yes. These are the ten tools. Partial of clay, partial, partial of clay. Yes, which is ten there. Strong, ten and weak. they are going to work with Mystery Babylon, which is the Vatican power. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They are going to march together to be able to help the little horn to rise. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 25 now, I think. Yes. Read, ten, read 24 again. Mm -hmm. And the ten horns out of the, um, and the ten horns out of this kingdom mm -hmm. are ten kings. Yes. That shall arise. Yes. And another shall arise after them. Mm -hmm. And he shall be diverse from the first. Mm -hmm. And he shall subdue three kings. He will kings. subdue three kings. Those are three horns. Yes. yes. And shall speak speak great words against the Most High. Exactly. That, that, that's the Antichrist. Exactly. And mm -hmm. shall wear out the sins of the Most High. He will wear out the sins of the Most High. And think to change times and laws. This is what is called the emergence of the new world order. It's going to change the times and the signs. And the laws. Yes. And the laws. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they shall be given into his hand. Until the time and times and the dividing of time. When we did Daniel 78, we we said the time, times and dividing of times is three and a half years. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One thousand two hundred and sixty days. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Three and a half years. Continue. Yes. But the judgment shall, but the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion, to consume and to destroy it. Okay. Now wait. I want to explain something, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you how prophecies work. You know, usually when God reveals something to a man of God today, prophecy is progressive. Mm. The God is progressive. He cannot give all the light in one day. You'll be blinded. Mm. You, God cannot reveal everything in one day. If he gives everything in one day, you'll be blinded. Remember there was a time he was teaching the disciples some things. And he said, if I tell you any other thing, he said, you'll be confused. He said, even the ones I've shown you right now, he said, your mind is beginning to get dull. Because dull of you. And he said, you are, you are, can I show you the scripture? Yeah, no, John chapter 16. Can oh. you check John chapter 16? Oh, right. verse, um, verse 12. Verse 12. Verse 12. Can you read that for me? I have yet many things to say unto you. I have yet many things to say unto you. But you cannot bear them now. You cannot bear them now. How it when he that when he, the spirit of truth is, of truth is come, mm -hmm. he will guide you into all truth. Yes. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show thee I'll show you things to come. He will show you things to come. Let me tell you what happens. When God reveals his word to a generation. He gives them the quantity that they can bear. Mm. Then the succeeding generation, he makes it clearer. He makes the details clearer. Mm. Then he makes the No, when Nebuchadnezzar had his own vision, you will have thought that that was the end of it. Then in Daniel chapter 7, God gave a more detailed understanding of what Nebuchadnezzar was trying to say. Mm. Now, we will see. Now, let me, I want to read the scripture. Okay. Plus, I want to read the scripture. Okay. Romans chapter 1. Okay. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. Okay. Romans chapter 1 verse 17. That's a standard principle of the scripture. Standard scripture, principle of the scripture. He said for uh, Romans chapter 1 verse 17. verse 17. He said for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. The righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, stages to stages. Mm. Hallelujah. From one faith level to another faith, faith level. level to yes. another, what is faith? The revealed word of God. Mm. From revealed word of God to another level of revealed word of God to another revealed level of word of God. So when God reveals his word to a man of God, then he brings another man and gives more details to that one. Mm. Then another one comes and gives more details. What Isaiah said about the coming Messiah was deeper than what was spoken about in Genesis. When Ezekiel came, he gave more details. When uh, Jeremiah came, he gave more details. Everybody started giving more details until by the time John the Baptist came, he gave, in fact, John the Baptist was pointing to him like this. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now we have seen one detail in Daniel 11, uh, Daniel chapter 7. Yes. Now let's go to Daniel 8 and see more details. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. That is where we're going to get to the issue of the land. So because we, what led us to this, we are trying to identify the he goat. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Now Daniel chapter 8, I will start. Then All you right. can take over. Are you, are, you go, are you there now? Verse 1. Read from verse 1. In the third year of the reign of King Bethesda, mm -hmm. A vision appeared unto me. Yes. Even unto me, Daniel. Yes. After that which, after that which appeared unto me at the first. Yes. And I saw in a vision. Mm -hmm. 
And it came to pass when I saw that I was at Shusan mm -hmm. in a palace, which is in the province of Elam. Mm -hmm. And I saw in a vision, and I was by the river of Ule, Uliah. Yes. Then I lifted up my eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river a ram, which had two horns. Mm -hmm. And the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other. This, do you know that this dream is also talking about this, this succeeding world empires? But uh, like I told you, it's going to be more detailed. Now, he said, I saw a ram that has two horns. Mm. Now, already, and he said, he saw it during which person's reign? Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchadnezzar. That means Nebuchadnezzar was gone. He was in the intermission stage mm. for the next kingdom to come. Yes. And the next kingdom that was to come was the Medio-Persian, mm. the Medes and, and the, the Persians. Persians. This was this one. And so the Medes and the Persian kingdom is what is referred to as the ram. How do I know? He said he has two horns. Mm. One is higher than the other. Mm. Remember when he spoke about the beer? He said he rested on one side. Said, that means one side was stronger <laughs> than the other. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. So mm. he spoke about the ram, which is the medio Persian. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now continue, brother. medio Persian. Mm. Continue. Okay. All right. That's then I let I saw the ram pushing westward, mm -hmm. westward mm -hmm. and northward and southward. Now, look at, he said, I saw the ram pushing what? Westward. Westward. Northward. Northward. Southward. Southward. Now, look, look at me. We have to know which side was stronger between the Medes and the Persians. Mm -hmm. Which side do you think was stronger? The Persians. The Persians were stronger. Mm -hmm. That is why he said, I saw the ram pushing northward westward and southward that means his, his own base is in the east pushing northward southward south, westward and southward yeah, hallelujah yeah, yeah. come on sir god, 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 god he was pushing eastward, eastward you know so I mean, pushing towards are you enjoying this brother yes, I am. praise god continue okay. brother yes okay now so we come to that's five oh, that's four yes yeah yeah you're finished that's four okay so so that no beast might stand before him. Mm -hmm. Neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand. Yes. What he did according to his will and became great. Now, he said he was going with such power, nobody could stand in his way. Hallelujah. Nobody can stand. He was doing according to his will. But remember, Gabriel was going back to fight it mm. so that another power can come from the west to fight it. Mm. If come. Gabriel did not go, you remember the last week's uh, yes, edition? Yes, yes. If Gabriel did not go, that to fight the prince, to fight the prince mm. controlling this ram, mm. the ram will take over the whole world and it will continue forever. Hallelujah. Mm. Remember Gabriel said, he said, I now go back to fight the prince of Persia. Mm. He said, and after I'm gone, the prince of Grecia will come. Mm. Yeah, read, continue. All right. That's right. And I was considering, and, and as I was considering, behold, and he, and behold, and he got king from the west on the face of the whole earth, and touched not the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. Praise the Lord. It's so interesting. He said, This ram was pushing westward, northward, and southward. And there was nobody that could stand it. But remember in Daniel chapter 10. The angel told Daniel, He said, I'm going back to fight the prince of Persia. So that he said, When I fight it, the prince of Grecia will come. The, this is the location of the prince of Grecia in the west. Yes. So the, he said the prince of Grecia will come. That means the power will come from that. The prince of Grecia will come from the heavens. Mm. The spiritual wickedness. After, the, after, after Gabriel and Michael has been able to deal with Persia, they will, Grecia will not have chance. It yes. will come with a supreme, swift, like an air power. He said it will come down from the west and smash the ram. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue. Okay. He's, a, he's called it an he goat. Uh -huh. So who is the he goat? We have seen the ram. The he goat is Alexander the Great. He goat. I hope the cameraman is getting this for our people there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Continue. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. And uh, read verse 5 again. And, and as I was considering, behold, and he goat came from the west 
on the face of the whole earth yes. and touched not the ground. Mm -hmm. And the goat had a notable horn mm -hmm. between his eyes. Mm -hmm. And he came to the ram that had two horns, mm -hmm. which, which I had seen standing mm -hmm. before the river, and ran unto him in the fury of his power. Yes. And I saw him come close unto the ram and was moved with, 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 cola. with cola against him mm -hmm. and smote the ram mm -hmm. and broke his two horns. He broke the power of the Medes and Persia. And there was no power in the ram to mm -hmm. stand before him. Mm -hmm. But he cast him down to mm -hmm. the ground and mm -hmm. stamped upon him. And there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Mm -hmm. Therefore he, therefore the he goat waxed very great. And when he was strong, the, the great horn was broken. Yes. And for it came up for, I and mean, for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of the earth, of the heaven. Mm -hmm. And out of, and out of them came forth a little horn, which was exceedingly great, toward the south, toward the east, toward the pleasant land. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now let me tell you this. I want to read somewhere to you. Praise the Lord. He said. Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great started the war to invest the Persian Empire in 336 okay. BC. Okay. Alexander the Great. Okay. In 336 BC. Okay. Alexander the Great had only 35,000 soldiers and 75,000 dollars. 35,000 soldiers and 75,000 dollars to start the war. We are asked the Persian king had $11 million in his treasury and thousands of soldiers. And even he had Greeks, 50,000 Greek soldiers in his command. Uh -huh. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Should, should an eagle be able to fight Iran? An eagle cannot fight. It's against nature. Mm. Eagle should not be able to fight Iran mm. just as just as a silver is not better than gold, mm -hmm. and a brass is not better than the silver. silver, and the iron is not better than brass. You see, the, 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 the quality was reducing mm -hmm. in this image. Gold, yes. silver, brass, iron. Look at this place. Can be a fight lion? No. That means some strange things are involved. Can leopard fight bear? It was reducing. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. Here too, Ram. Mm. He good defeating Ram. Mm. Hey, you, can't you see ab 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 absurdities? Yes. Strength powers are involved. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Alexander the Great did not really have what the wherewithal to really fight the Persian Empire, but he won. Praise the Lord. Because he was already yes. the name of the Spirit. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now the Bible said. When the Greek, when Alexander the Great died and his empire broke, mm. it broke into four divisions. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah. And it's called the and the armies decided to rule. The army said, The army they came, the uh, four generals that were supporting Alexander the Great, they said, We are going to we are going to hold power for the son of Alexander the Great. That when his son grew up, he will be able to rule okay. by what take over. But after some years, I think it was about ten. Um, about uh, 13 years or so, they killed his son, his son and his, his wife and all his... In fact, they removed the existence of Alexander the Great from the earth, everything that is posterity. And his four generals, they, they shared the power, they shared the kingdom into four. That is what is referred to there as when he said, they, it became four notable ones towards the four ones. So yeah, verse 8. Verse 9. Verse, okay, verse 9. And one of them came forth a little horn. Mm -hmm. Which waxed exceedingly great. Yes. Toward the north, toward the south, toward the east, and toward the pleasant land. Yes. And it waxed great, mm -hmm. even to the host of heaven. Mm -hmm. And it cast down some of the host mm -hmm. and of the stars to the ground mm -hmm. and stamped upon them. Mm -hmm. Yea, he magnified himself even to the prince, even to the prince of the host. And by him the daily sacrifice, the daily, and by him the daily sacrifice was taken away. And the place of his sanctuary was cast down. Now he's talking about the the an, the antitype of the antichrist, mm -hmm. the the person that was going to come as a type of the antichrist. Mm 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this street, we call the anti course. Are, are you getting it? I, I can't go into all the details now. Okay. I, am a, I am an engineering... Uh, I'm, an engineer. <laughs> I'm, I'm an engineer by profession. I'm not an historian. It is the cause of this word of God I went into a lot of these details. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But those who are into history will be able to give you more details. Praise the Lord. But if you get in contact with me, I'll give you more of these articles to check. Praise the Lord. But what happened is that this man came and why I'm really going there is where he used the word towards the pleasant land. Mm. How do we identify the place that is called the pleasant land? He said because by reason of this man, this daily sacrifice was discontinued. Mm. Where is the place that they do daily sacrifice? The temple. Yes. So that pleasant land must be referring to Israel. Israel. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, so we, we, that means all these issues have to do with Israel. Mm. Now, let me show you. Have you ever watched a day on CNN, on Sky News, or any BBC News where they have not given a news about the Middle East? How about you? Almost impossible. It's almost impossible because that is where the Bible called the pleasant land. That is where the Bible called the, the land, that is the center of the world. That is where the focus is. Now, why is all this, why is the Antichrist coming really? The Antichrist is coming because he wants to gain control of this tiny portion of land called Israel. And not just everywhere in Israel, there's a place called Jerusalem. That is where the real problem is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, what is, what, what is the interplay of the Roman Empire there? The Roman Empire, the woman that sits upon many waters, is looking forward on how to shift his capital from Vatican to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Now let's check what we are saying. I told you we are not talking about the land. Now let me show you why is this land important. Where, let's check to where this all the story began. Yeah. This is interesting. Genesis chapter 2 okay. from verse 8. Okay. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. Yes. And there he put the man whom he had formed. The Lord planted a garden eastward of Eden. Mm. Hallelujah. Where was Eden? Maybe we'll be able to identify where, if we're able to identify where Eden was, then maybe we'll be able to get the mystery of all these things. Okay, continue. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And there he put the man whom he had formed. Mm -hmm. And out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight yes. and good for food. Yes. And the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, mm -hmm. and the tree of, of the knowledge, mm -hmm. and the tree of, of knowledge of good and evil. Mm -hmm. And a river went out of Eden. A river went out of Eden to water the garden. To water the garden. From thence it was parted and, beca and became into four heads. Four heads. The name of the first is Pison. Yes. That is, that is it which, that is, that is it which compassed the whole land of Havila, where there is gold. Mm -hmm. And the gold of the land is good. Yes. There is Bedlam mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and Onyx stone. Mm -hmm. And the name of the second river is Gihon. Yes. The name, the same is it that compasses the whole land of Ethiopia. Yes, this is the land of Ethiopia. Okay. Uh, yes. So by the time this, the, by the, remember when the flood came, the flood covered the entire earth. Mm. And so when everything, and they had shoe, when the whole thing settled, there were new lands. Mm. But God knew the location. Mm. God knew his own location. Yes. But revivatories did not change. How do we know that the revivatories did not change? Let's go to Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. Remember Father Abraham? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Remember the promise that God gave Father Abraham? Yes. Amen. Yes. Do you know that it is the promise that God gave Father Abraham that is causing all these problems? Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. And it's related to the original location of Eden. Mm -hmm. Now, let's read Genesis chapter 15. Read from verse 18. Verse 18 says, yes. In the same day the Lord, I mean, in the same day the Lord made a covenant with Abraham. Mm -hmm. Saying, unto thy seed have I given this land, mm -hmm. from the river of Egypt, yes, unto the great river, hey, from the river of Egypt, yes, unto the great river Euphrates. You got Euphrates, yes. amen. Yes. I want you to know that the old name of Iraq mm. is Babylon. Babylon yes, Hallelujah. Mm. And Babylon was located near Eden mm. because it was when they were they were removed from Eden 
that the people, instead of spreading, you remember when the when the when the human race was sent out of Eden, out of the garden, they all settled in the neighborhood of the garden. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they refused to scatter. And God says scatter. They refused to scatter. Now let's let, let maybe we we'll move a little bit ahead of ourselves. I want you to read ten, Genesis ten. Genesis, Genesis 10, ten verse twenty five. Sorry. Okay. Genesis ten verse twenty five. And unto Eber were born two sons. Unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg. The name of one was Peleg. For in his days was the earth divided. And his brother's name was Joktan. Now his name was Peleg, for it was in his days that the earth was divided. Okay. That means before Peleg was born, the whole that there were no there were no continents. All of them the whole earth was one mass of land. land. Was one mass of land. So you could easily have identified where Eden was. Because you will see Tigris, you will see all the others. But after the our land was divided, the one that was easiest to see to identify was Ephrates. He said, because it was in the days of Peleg that the earth was divided into continents. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you now go to, remember, the land was divided so that human beings can scatter. They still did not scatter. Remember the commandment in the first in Genesis. He said, spread and replenish the earth. Human beings said, we are not going to spread. Read Genesis 11. Verse 1. Verse 1 says, yes. And the whole earth was of one language. And of one speech. Read Genesis 10:32. 10, 10:32 10, of Genesis. Mm -hmm. These are the families of the sons of Noah, mm -hmm. after their generations in their nations. And by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. The, the nations were divided after the flood, but they refused to move. They all wanted to stay at one point. God said, "Scatter now." We said, "We are not going to scatter." Okay, read. And the whole earth was of one language. Yes. And of one speech. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the earth, from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shina, and they dwelt there. And there they be there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make it, let us make brick, mm -hmm. and burn them thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And they had brick for stone, mm -hmm. and slime, hardy for butter. Mm -hmm. And they said, Go to, mm -hmm. let us build us a city, mm -hmm. a tower, mm -hmm. whose top may reach. Who stop me reach unto heaven mm -hmm. and let us make us a name mm -hmm. lest we be scattered abroad. Lest we be scattered abroad all the face of the earth. Let us form a new world world government, mm -hmm. a new world order. When the whole world will be a global village mm -hmm. and we can all say with one voice that we are the world, we are, we are the, the free, children. we are the children. You know, we want to have a global village, <laughs> we want to have one world. A new world peace, a new one world religion, a new one world government, a new one world currency, Babylon. Read verse, read verse nine. Uh, read verse, verse, uh, verse seven. No, read verse from verse six. And Lord said, Behold, the people is one, mm -hmm. and they have all one language. And this they begin to do. Mm -hmm. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Go to. Let us go down and there confound their language, mm -hmm. that they may not understand one another's speech. Mm -hmm. So the Lord scattered them abroad from them mm -hmm. upon the face of all the earth, mm -hmm. and they and they left off to build the city. Mm -hmm. Therefore is the name of the place called Babel, because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth, mm -hmm. and from them did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. You know where that happened? That is where it is called Babylon. Mm -hmm. That is Babylon. Current day. Iraq. Praise the Lord. Current day Iraq. Iraq is here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was where they had that first formation. Okay. Every place where on the soles of your feet shall tread shall be yours. Mm -hmm. From the wilderness and Lebanon. You are the wilderness of Lebanon. <laughs> Continue. Mm -hmm. Amen. From the rivers and Lebanon. Yes. From the river, the river Euphrates. Yes. Even unto the uttermost sea. Shall your coast be? Yes. Zechariah chapter 12, verse, verse, verses 2 and 3. Behold, I will, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling. Unto all the people who are around And to all the people about, that are around about. When they shall be in the siege, mm -hmm. both against Judah and against Jerusalem. Are we not in the siege now? Of course. 
today the Israel because America wants to get coalition with all the Arabs is now applying pressure on Israel to pull back out of the West Bank out of all the occupied territories please negotiate your Abrahamic rights please negotiate your Abrahamic rights because we want to go to war hallelujah continue brother Okay, to verse 3. three yes. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. How many people? All people. Everybody in the world, their attention is shifted onto Jerusalem. Yes. Now go to chap chapter 14 and read verse 2. A. Chapter 14. Verse 2. A. Verse 2. A. Yes. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. Are we in the end times, brother? I think you should know that we are in the end times. Praise the Lord. I'm now concluding. Okay. I want to say this, brethren, that it is very important to say, as the Apostle Paul mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9, that we know in part and we prophesy in part. We speak our inspired words in part. But when the perfect is come, the f when the perfect, the full peace come, then that which is part in part will be done away with. Hear the Spirit call. Come just as you are. Come and see. Today we are going to be concluding on the America's disaster 
and the emergence of the new world order. Well, I'm sure Pastor Tukumbo is loaded with information for you today. Uh -huh. As God will give him grace to, to delve deep into this subject again. Praise the, the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And if you remember, actually before this issue of American disaster came about, mm. we were actually getting set to start on a series on the gifts, callings, and anointing. Yes. Which we, are going, we were planning to analyze the issues of the gifts of the spirit, the fivefold ministry, and the other and other anointing, peculiar anointings that are present in the body of Christ. I believe that by the grace of God, we will be able to do that in uh, due time. Praise Amen. the Lord. I, I would also like to let uh, our audience, watching audience, know that we've had a great time ministering to you. Praise the Lord. And uh, then. We, we, we just could not have uh, answered all your questions. The one, hour, the one hour is just too short, and then you will discover that, uh, you will notice that I've, I just, just pick information here and there, you know. Some of these things are, some of the informations I've passed across are information that one has had in my mind for over a long time, things, studies, the administrations through the prophet of God, New Frisbee and William Branham, and other servants of God too. Uh, I am somebody that uh, I, 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 I open myself to knowledge all the time, especially spiritual knowledge all the time. So I have, the, and the knowledge and the truths of God, they are always progressive. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I, I may preach something today, and in the year's time when I'm preaching it, it will be richer than the way I preached it before. As long as the Lord has not come, the, the righteousness of God is still moving on from faith to faith. To faith. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, we are going to try to conclude today. In fact, whatever we are doing today is like a conclusion to this particular topic. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To this particular topic called American Disaster... Uh, uh, the emergence of the new, new world, world order. Now, by the grace of God, in one of the tapes, we're going to show you a clip of uh, the, the, the documentary on the new world order by um, uh, Pastor J.R. Church. Praise the Lord. I don't know when it's going to come up. After this particular series, my the, my pastor, uh, Pastor Afolabi Oladili, is going to take over and run another series for some time. Probably it may take up to a quarter, I don't know. So probably after that, and we come back, or another brother may come back and uh, continue. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are also hopeful that um, in due time, refreshing time, we, yep. we, we, we come, come back, back on and yes, right, 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 right. so that you will be able to now have fullness you get some things on restoration now, and you get some things on refreshing times. In fact, um, I met a brother yesterday yes. who who sat me down. In fact, we met at the bank, uh, at the banking hall, actually. Yes. And uh, he sat me down and said, "Look, we should uh, we should do something about making this program more than once a week. Mm -hmm. uh, we should make it maybe like midweek. We should we should we should have that episode running and everything apart from just repeating and everything and i said well uh, the issue is forms mm. that if people, god can use people like him mm. <laughs> i hope he's listening to me <laughs> praise the lord yeah, um, hallelujah. Well, well if the if refreshing times come back we will mm. use the opportunity to talk to people about that all right but at, but presently the brethren fellowship is doing all the yeah. best to make sure that we pass this information to you that you know time is up Jesus is coming back soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to read, start today from reading the book of Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. Okay. We are in a time in which uh, there are so many things that are happening, causing distractions here and there, you know, for people. But let me just read what Habakkuk, Prophet Habakkuk said. Habakkuk chapter 2, everybody, can you pick up your Bible? I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Abakov had the controversy with God. Abakov had a lot of why this, why this, why that, why this. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, 
and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that readeth it. There is a response to those who, are, who read the vision. They run because there is a sense of urgency that will take hold. Yes, sir. He said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Mm -hmm. The vision is yet for an appointed time. I want you to listen to me. There is going to be a situation where sometimes we may look like liars because there are some events that will take a long time to, to manifest the way we are spoken in. Mm -hmm. Just because we have said this and this and this, America will not recover this, this one will not. Let me tell you, let me tell you the way prophecy works. Sometimes when the prophetic word is given in this direction, many times Satan will go this direction for a while. So that all those who are watching for the word of God to come to pass this way, and Satan moves this way, they will all conclude that the prophet is a liar. The mm. prophet is, if you bless, ignoring. Mm. So they, they will not start going this way, yet Satan knows that he is still going to go this way. Mm. So many times it makes people, how instead of making them victors, it turns them to victims of prophecy. Mm. Victims of prophecy. So don't be deceived by what we look like detours that Satan is going to make. Mm. But we have shown you what the Bible said. The Bible said the vision is yet for an appointed time. What the appointed time is, we don't know. That is where it is in the hands of the Almighty. He said the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall surely come, it will not tarry. It shall surely come, it will not tarry. Um, a lot of things have been happening. We can we notice that uh, Ramadan is coming, and there is a controversy of whether America will continue to be bombing or not, and um, the the Arab coalition uh, making their own suggestions, different things. Let me tell you, by the time you put all these things together, you will see the result is going to have on the way people look at America and the people where people see them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. El, hallelujah. Amen. I also want to let you know that, hey, there is a grand plan, there is a grand plan by the New World Order people to make a new currency of international scope, a new currency and international... In fact, there will be a lot of currencies, new currencies everywhere, you know, each country or what you call sub-regional group, groupings, mm. sub-regional groupings, all the sub-regional groupings, they are going to have their own common currency, praise the Lord, like ECOWAS and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah. all this currency, we have a common image system. You know, we've got a common image system linking them together into an international monetary system. They're linking them together. From this currency system, it will go into debit system, debit card system. Mm -hmm. And the debit card system will actually go into the barcode system mm -hmm. of the of the of the uh, image of the beast. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, among the among the, the the preachers who preach on prophetic events, there are there are differences in opinion. There are those who believe that who believe that there is not going to be one person who is going to be Antichrist. They believe that what the Bible is talking about is the Antichrist as a system. Okay. And there are some who believe that there is going to be the Antichrist as a person. Praise the Lord. By well, my, the system has to be headed by Yes. Somebody. By my study in the Word of God, I know and I've taught it before in the, in the past, in refreshing times, that there is the Bible fully, the Bible fully support the idea of the Antichrist as a system the Antichrist as a philosophy, the Antichrist as a religion, are you following me? Mm. The Antichrist as a person, are you following me? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Antichrist in economy, mm. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All these things are going to come to pass. How many of you have noticed lately all these mergers that are occurring? Mm. You know, mergers won't the large corporations are swallowing up the small corporations. They even the large ones, even the large ones are merging together. Economy. You know, the big banks are swallowing the small banks and whatever. You see, we, we, the other time, very refreshing time, I spoke about transnational independent dependency. Mm -hmm. Transnational independency. 
there is coming a time, the way the new order people have designed everything to work, there is coming a time. Right. In 1999, I spoke these things. They were like prophecy. They were like, it's not going to happen. Yes. But I want you to look at it now. You, I said it in 1999. Probably if they can, can bring a clip of what that 1999, when we are preaching the Antichrist and the New World Order, I said that what will happen, what is called, their, one of their principles is that there's going to be what is called transnational dependency. Is that the, the corporations in Nigeria will fail and they will be put up for sale. They, somehow there will be a problem with finances in Nigeria that Nigerians will not be allowed to buy the corporations in Nigeria. So external people, somebody from Jamaica, somebody from Paris, somebody from uh, uh, Russia will come and buy all corporations in Nigeria. Hallelujah. Amen. Now. These will be corporations that affect the citizenry, Hallelujah. like Niger, like Nepal, like railway corporation. External people of another nationality will come and buy the, 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 the economy, the, the, the stocks and the corporations in Nigeria. Now, the Nigerian, the Nigerian businessmen, the large bulk Nigerian businessmen, will now buy all corporations in Kenya. Are you following me? Then the Kenyan businessmen will, will not be able to buy up the corporation in Kenya. They will buy the corporations in, 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 Burundi. in Burundi. Are you following me? Yes. Then the ones in Burundi will buy the ones in Ethiopia. The ones in Ethiopia will buy the ones in, Jama in, in Jamaica. Then the ones in Jamaica will buy the ones in, uh, in uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Now, the corporations in America will fail. Are you getting it? Yes. Now, to buy them up, Europeans will buy the corporations in America. Hallelujah. Then the, the, the American businessmen will buy the corporations in, uh, in, 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 in Australia. Hallelujah. Then the ones in Australia will buy the ones in Japan. Did you now discover that there is a kind of what you call a, 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 an overlap, overlapping effect? Hallelujah. Now, this one cannot stand alone, it overlaps on this, this one cannot stand alone, it overlaps on this, this one cannot stand alone, it overlaps on this, like a pack of cards. Mm. They will all interdepend on one another. So, at the end of the day, Nigerians cannot talk with a voice, because the economy is, has been bought by people of another country. Jamaicans will not, cannot talk with independence, because their corporations are bought, and this corporation, corporation, of course, in turn, would the, the, control and determine yes, government this policy. Is government policy. These are co these are these are corporations that are affecting the government and affect the citizenry. So you cannot make any. The government will just be like a figurehead because the government cannot make decisions that affect the people in the interest of the people anymore. Because it is the people that control your economy that are from another country that will dictate to you. Your policies. You dictate your policies now because they have to defend their, their interests. They have invested in your country. They have to defend you, their interests. You went to invite them. You, are you following? You went to invite them. <laughs> now, those same people too, in their own country, they don't have a say because somebody else has bought up their own uh, economies too. So another set of people are, will be dictating for them too. So at the end of the day, you now have a system all over the world in which nobody really has a say. In his own land. In his own land. We are all slaves in our own land. But the people that are behind this are the people that are called the one world government people. You see, I, I, let me tell you some things I've learned, you know. If you go take America, let's take America for instance, you have, the, you have what they call the Federal Reserve System. Federal Reserve System. Which is like their own, which central, is their own bank. central bank, you know. Now the federal central system, by the by the by the word by the by the by the wordings of that name, you will have you your first inclination will be that this is a the, this is a governmental body. Yes. But do you know that the federal research system is not a government institution? The federal research system is not a government. Was it ever a government institution? It was never a government institution. The federal research system was a privately held corporation. Whole privately held corporation, you know, held by a few stockholders. 
powerful stockholders. Can I, let me tell you some yes. few things. You know, this federal research system is not a government of corporation. It's held by a few people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you will expect that these people are Americans. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you see, for years, the names of the owners of this federal research system was one of the most guarded secrets in America. For years, until recently, some one newspaper publisher was able through a lot of maneuvering mm -hmm. connections through Arab and other other connections, he was able to get the names of the people who are the real owners of this federal research system. And the Rothschild Bank of uh, of London and uh, 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 and Berlin, they are the major or the Rothschild. Mm -hmm. You know these are. Jewish Europeans, praise the Lord, Hallelujah. powerful people. You know, when I said that uh, the bombing of New York and whatever is, uh, is significant of several other things, I want to tell you that, you see, the, the Federal Reserve System is operating under what is called Federal Reserve Act. Federal Reserve Act. Act okay. okay. That Federal Reserve Act was pushed first down through the nose of Americans by the people who have already put themselves in the Congress. Now there was this uh, Senator Nelson uh, Hardridge, mm -hmm. who was the Mata grandfather of the Rockefeller, Mata grandfather of the Rockefeller brothers. Okay. Mm -hmm. He was the one that many years ago did it through the Congress. He, try, he tried to do it, it failed, but they finally were able to pass it through to make sure that the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank, of America is controlled by private interests of a group of people. The central bank, when that one failed, then they came back to the Federal Reserve Act. And the Federal Reserve Act makes sure there is something called Federal Reserve Bank. The Federal Reserve Bank is like our own central bank. You know, it controls the major banking operations of course. in America. Monetary, monetary you policies. And it's designed to it's control... Independent, yes. And it's designed to control the Federal Reserve. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, more than 90 of the 100 largest banks in the U.S. are located in New York. More than 90 of the 100 of largest bank in America, they are all located, located in New York. Do you now know the significance of New, New York, York now? Yes. now? And out of all the controlling interests, of this Federal Reserve System and the Federal Reserve Bank, only four of them are in America. Only four of them are in America. Only four. The others are where? Europe, I guess. Europe. <laughs> they are all Europe. I, I have a, I have a book here that I would recommend for anybody that is interested in knowing the secret. I don't know whether you get it. It's called En Route to Global Occupation. En Route to Global Occupation. It was written by Gary Carr, you know. He said, a high-ranking government liaison officer exposes the secret agenda for the world unification. A high-ranking government liaison exposes the secret agenda for the world unification. The name of the man is Gary H. Carr. I hope he's still alive. <laughs> Now, praise the Lord, you know, yes. he, he was able to bring out the names of the, 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 the people who are behind the, the Federal Reserve the System, which is the Fed, which ultimately controls the banking system in America, which are the Rothschild Bank of London and Berlin, the Lazard Brothers Banks of Paris, the Israel Moses Self Banks of Italy, the World Bank, Bank of uh, uh, Hamburg and Amsterdam, the Lehman Brothers Bank of New York, the Conleon Bank of New York, Chase Manhattan Bank of New York, Goldman and Sachs Bank. You know, this of New, they, of New York, these people threw over 300 stockholders who all knew themselves. These few people threw over 300 different stockholders who know themselves own the Federal Reserve System. So they can decide if they want the economy to go down. 
And these same people, yeah. yeah, and these same people control what you call the the IMF or the World Bank, Bank. and all those stuff. And you know, you see, when the Bible, when the Bible said the Satan is the God of this world, God knows what He's saying. You know, do you? I, I, I will read a portion of this book to you. Okay. Today we are just doing what you can call a recap. A recap. You know, I want to read something to you here. He said, the man said, our money was controlled just by a few people devoted. This is page. This, this is page twelve. Page twelve. Okay. Okay. He said, our money is controlled by just a few people devoted to the cause of the world government. Recently. Interstate banking laws have made this centralization possible by allowing big banks to swallow up smaller banks at an alarming rate. Over 12 regions, state regions, stretching from New England to, North, to the Carolinas, for instance, three New York super banks now control 85% of the banking assets. Three New York super banks, super banks now control 85% of banking assets. Smaller banks were first bought by large in-state banks. Smaller banks were first bought by large in-state banks. Like, like, maybe like regional banks. Regional banks, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then the bigger regional banks then purchase these large state banks. Then once this process is completed, the regional banks were merged with a, with a, with a New York super bank. Let me see, you see. Small banks yes. got swallowed up by state banks. Mm -hmm. Then the state banks were swallowed up by regional, regional banks. banks. Mm -hmm. Then when the regional banks are swallowing up all the ones, then the New York super banks now swallow those ones up. They have national scope. And the, who are the people controlling the New York super banks? The one world government people. The Rockefeller group, the Rush Street group, and all of them. Eight families. Let me tell you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight groups for the whole world. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I said these all happened during the late 70s and the early 80s, and the same process is being repeated now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now I want to read another place for you. He said, uh, he said, he said, Class A stockholders control the system. Class A stockholders control the system by owning the stock of the largest member banks in the New York Federal Reserve Bank. The controlling its interest is held by fewer than a dozen international banking establishments, only four of which are based in the United States. Only four are based in the United States. The rest of the interests are European with the most influential of these being the Rothschild family of London. Are we still talking about Europe? Yes. Hmm. Each American interest are in some way connected to this family. Included among these are the Rockefellers, who are by far the most powerful of the federal American stockholders. The Rockefeller holdings in the Federal Reserve are primarily through Chase Manhattan banks. Now, I want to tell you one interesting thing, where the, the spiritual part comes in, is a lot. He said the Rothschild family, I later discovered, had been allied with the Masonic Order, Free, Freemasons. Freemason, yes. They've been allied with the Masonic Order, Freemasons, since the 1700s. And at that time, they were still relatively a small but ambitious banking concern based in Frankfurt, Germany. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Braves in Frankfurt, Germany. Now, it's in another place, in this fashion, the Rothschild stroke the Masonic interest have gained foothold in the administration of this country's finances. That is America. Hmm. So, America's economy, the finances of America is being controlled by occultic people. Is it was bent on bringing they have their way. own order. Now let's see where the whole, the whole idea started from, mm -hmm. of doing this kind of a thing. Where did this started from? Let's go to Genesis. Okay. These same people are the same people who brought what you call Babylon. The same spirit. The same spirit. 
And I say, I believe that they are of the same grouping. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 11. The Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. Still read from verse 1. Verse 1, and the whole earth was of one language. Yes, as we are now trying to make the whole earth of one language through the computer language. Of course. Internet. Making the internet and everything. And the whole earth was of one language. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass, no, of one language and of one okay. speech. And the whole earth was of one language mm -hmm. and of one speech. Yes. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar. Oh, oh. And they dwelt with we, don't, we don't have the map here today. Yeah. I will have shown you the location of all these things from the east, mm -hmm. to the land of Shinar. Mm -hmm. You will see where we are talking about in continental Europe. Mm -hmm. the, the, the things are there. Continue. All right. Mm -hmm. And they said one to another, mm -hmm. Go to, mm -hmm. let us make a brick. Mm -hmm. Let us make brick. Let us make brick. And burn them thoroughly. Mm -hmm. And they had brick for stone, mm. and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven, mm. and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And let Lord, us make us a, a name. name. That's always it. Let us make up a name. Make us a name, yes. Let us make us a name. And this is the this is the point I would like to also admonish other servants of God, other ministers of God, every child of God. Be careful of trying to make you a name that is different from the name that God has called you. The greatest name to be exalted is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said he has exalted his name, above, he has exalted, his given name. him a name yes, that's that is above every other name. That the name of Jesus, every name must bow. You see, the instruction that God gave the spiritual man that he created, the instruction that he gave the spiritual man that he created in Genesis chapter 1, is that he said, be fruitful, that's in Genesis 1, 28, be fruitful, Multiply and replenish the earth. That means recover, respray yourself, redistribute yourself all over the earth. Subdue it and have dominion over everything. You know, and that I, is, I mean, I mean, that, now you brought an interesting language. Yes, yes. Somebody said, I mean, I think it was Ken Hagen who said that uh, if there wasn't a world before, that the word replenish automatically means when you say re, means that the, the earth was plenished before. Bra Bra was destroyed and now you have to replenish it. Bra 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 you are making me feel strongly uh, 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 um, I, I'm very willing to feel that maybe this thing is necessary. Hmm. You can't imagine how many people have called me in recent times and have said that the teaching we made some time ago, that probably last year, hmm. on the Antichrist and the New World Order, hmm. where we spoke about the Old world, world, yes. The then world and the present world. Mm. What happened to the world before Adam mm. that was destroyed by the by the by the, by the judgment, of, the judgment God. of God? Yes. Then the world of Adam, the first world mm. in which the flood of Noah came and all those stuff. You know, because these are the things. A lot of people have asked if I can let, if I can allow the tapes to be shown again and whatever. Actually, we need to have more outlets to show this word of God. Because some people also called me and said, Brother if those tapes can be shown again and people can learn the origin of fallen angels and demons and how this, this fallen angels control, they can even affect ministrations of men. Probably some of the controversies we have in Christendom can be done away with. I said, look, well, the most important thing is finances, okay? Because we, the, the brethren is, we are doing so it's, much, it's, you know, it's best, the right best. Now. It's a small group, you know, pumping the word of God into the air from all, with all our resources, mm -hmm. except people come in and help. There's, you know, we, we treated this issue of replenish at that time. That's true. God, there, there was a, a creation before this creation. And that was what scientists got mixed up with, and they start talking about evolution or no evolution. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The science, true science has its roots in the Bible. It is false science that don't have its roots in this Bible. 
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So God said they should scatter because there was a there was a kind of creation all over this earth before before that judgment, Catholicism judgment came. And God wanted another his new creation to quickly cover the earth. Because if they don't cover the earth, wild animals will take over the earth. Cutter all over the earth. But this man came, you know, in this place, Josephus, the Jewish historian, he said Babel happened in the days of Nimrod. Nimrod was the grandson of uh, Ham. Ham. Ham was one of uh, Ham, Ham is his, is his second born. Yes, Ham. Okay. Ham is one of the children of um, the one that went to uncover the father, Father's, father's yes. nakedness. Mm -hmm. I, I know. But, so it was Nimrod, the grandson, that started what you call that was a leader of the place called Babel, which and that name Babel called is called the place of confusion. Mm -hmm. Here I said Babel was a pointed rejection of God's instruction to replenish the earth. God said replenish the earth. But they said, no, we are not going to replenish there. We are going to have one purpose. We are going to say, he said, they said more, more God, God is there. He said, God is there. We are going to meet him. Mm -hmm. He said, the last, when God judged the earth last mm -hmm. at that time, he used the flood. Mm -hmm. And before the flood came, he gave a revelation to a man called Noah. He said, build an ark. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. And, the, and Noah built the ark for 120 years. He looked like a fool. Like what we are doing now, we look like a fool. Now Noah built an ark, and when the flood came, the ark floated. And everybody inside the ark got saved. Now, so this guy felt, look, if we scatter all over the ark, and we, we go against this God, which we will do, really, he's going to bring the flood again. So instead of him bringing the flood, that we will all die, let's build a tower that will be so high that no matter what flood it brings, we will be ahead of that flood. Can you get it? Yeah. Human beings thinking they are smarter are, than God. Yeah, they want to smarter than God. God yes. You know, the one world God, God people, they want to outsmite God. They don't want the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. They don't want all those things that happened in the past. Mm -hmm. They want to control. They want a government. They want a peace all over the world mm -hmm. without the Prince of Peace. The humanistic, humanistic view. view. Okay, continue, brother. All right. So, we'll start from verse 4 again. Of uh, Genesis 11. 11. Yes. From verse 4. Mm -hmm. And they said, Go to, mm -hmm. let us build us a city yes. and a tower, mm -hmm. whose top may reach unto heaven, mm -hmm. and let us make us a name, mm -hmm. lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. And the Lord came down to see, to see the city and the tower, which the children of men build. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, mm -hmm. and they have all one language. Mm -hmm. And this they begin to do. And now, Nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Mm -hmm. Go to, let us go down and there confound their language, mm -hmm. that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, mm -hmm. and they left off to build the city. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I mean, therefore is the name of the place, um, therefore is the name of it called Babel, mm -hmm. because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. He said, the, he said the Bible, he said, therefore the name of it is called Babel. Babel because yes. God came down and intervened and said, this counsel of man will not stand. Stand, hallelujah. This counsel of man will not stand. Mm. I want to tell you that this counsel of man will not stand. Hallelujah. God is going to come down. Mm. Amen. And uh, that was... Uh, that, how is God going to come down this time around? Let's go to the book of Jude. I want to read Jude. the book of Jude for you. Okay. Jude. Jude is the book before Revelation. Jude 14. Jude 14. I'm reading the book of Jude chapter 4. Jude. Jude chapter 1, yes. verse 14. <laughs> he has no chapter 2. I want to read it. All right. Are you are you there? There's a really? and Enoch uh, and Enoch also and Enoch also the seventh from Adam the seventh from Adam prophesied of this thing prophesied of this thing saying behold behold the Lord cometh with yes. ten thousands of his saints how is he going to come with ten thousands of his saints he will have taken them up first behold that day is coming the ark of the Lord the, the the voice of the Lord will sound the voice of the ark of angel archangel will sound. And those of us who remain, 
and our life shall be caught up in the air and we shall meet those who have passed on before in the clouds and we shall be with the Lord in the air. Then one day we shall come to come and intervene in the Babylon of things that are happening here. Read, continue. To execute judgment. To execute, execute judgment. To execute judgment upon all mm -hmm. and to convince all mm -hmm. that that are ungodly, or, I mean, that are, sorry, please, I'll take that again. To execute judgment upon all, yes. and to convince all that are ungodly among mm. them mm. of all their ungodly deeds, mm -hmm. which they have ungodly, which they have ungodly committed, mm -hmm. and of all their their hard speeches, mm -hmm. which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. Mm. These are murderers, mm. complainers. These are murmurers. Well, these are murmurers, mm -hmm. complainers, mm -hmm. walking after their own lust. Yes. And their mouth speaketh great swelling words, mm -hmm. having means passion, having means passion in admiration because of advantage. I didn't. Can you just do that? Yes. Having means persons in admiration yes. because of advantage. They turn human beings to their god. Mm. You know, they say this man is a star mm. because he has some advantage. This one is a star. You know, there are people who will now become super gods because of their money, because of their influence. We look at the way some people were worshipping Abacha the other time. Yes. And they say Abacha should come and he should rule forever. The 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 cap, the, the head that the cap fits. Praise the Lord. How many people say it's because of advantage. advantage. So some of the time most of the time is all that because people do this mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, praise singing yes. just because of what they can get. And, and the ministers of God better watch it. Psycho fancy. You know, there was a man of God near the William Brenham who ministered many years ago, some years ago. He said God told him to be careful of three things. Popularity, money, and women. Popularity, money, and women. If these things don't get you, you are safe. Praise the Lord. to also read one thing, Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. Verse. Read verse 1. And after these things, I heard a great voice of yeah, much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah. This is our hope, brother. Salvation and glory. Yes, Lord. And honor and power yeah, of the Lord our God. Amen. For true and righteous are his judgments. Amen. For he had Judge the great hall. He has judged the great hall. That woman we did corrupt the earth we with her fornication. Over had avenged the blood of his of his servants Alleluia. at her hands, mm -hmm. and again said, "Hallelujah!" And her smoke rose up forever and ever. Go to verse eleven and start verse reading. Eleven says, yes, "And I saw heaven open." And I saw heaven open. And that. behold, the white horse. This is the true white horse, different from the the deceptive horse of Revelation chapter six. Mm. Hallelujah. And he that sat upon him was called faithful Father, I and true. Hallelujah. And in righteousness he doth judge and, and make war. Hallelujah. He, uh, his eyes were as flame of fire, yes, thank you. and on his head were many crowns. Many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. I want, you, I want us to do a little bit of comparison now. Yes. I want you to compare with the. So those of you who watch episode uh, episode three. You saw where we checked out one deceptive. Those who are, don't know, who don't know what we are talking about, deception is happening in the land. People cannot interpret what is happening. There is deception in the land. 
I want you to compare two things. Yes. When you see white horse, you will think that it's holiness. Yes. Now, we are open to Revelation chapter 6. Let's compare these two white horse riders okay. and see. Because you, you see, you got to okay. have six, the six. follow the teachings of the voice of restoration and re restoration. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, read Revelation chapter 6. Read from verse 1. And I saw mm -hmm. when the and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals. Yes. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. Yes. One of the four beasts saying, "Come and see." Come and see. Come and see Revelation now. Continue. And I saw mm -hmm. and behold the white horse. I saw a white horse. Now I'm going to read Revelation 19. Mm -hmm. And I saw heaven opened. And behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him was called faithful through, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Now, what is the name of this other white horse man in Revelation 6? And I saw, behold, a white horse, mm. and he that sat on him had a bow, mm. and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. There's now, no number name. one, he doesn't have a name, mm. oh boy, he doesn't have a name. Mm. This is strange. This white horse man here doesn't have a name, but this one has a name, he's not hidden. Mm. His name is called Faithful and True. True. And in righteousness he doth judge. He's first judging before he makes war. His judgment is based on righteousness. Okay? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, this other one in Revelation 6, mm. he has one crown. Mm. And the crown was given to him. He did not earn it. The mm. crown was what? Given and the crown him. was given to him. Mm. And he has a bow mm. without an arrow. Mm. So the bow, what he does with the bow is that he, 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 he makes sure that you don't notice that there is no arrow in that bow. He shakaras everybody. Uh, he shakaras everybody. He shakaras. Uh, hallelujah. And with the shakara, people just bow down before him. People just bow down before him. But the Bible said, those that know the name of their God shall be strong and do great exploits. We are mm. not running. We are not preaching escapism. <laughs> we are going to stay here and win the battle. Praise mm. the Lord. Mm. It's mm. tough. It's tough. But we are the ones that we endure hardness like the soldier of the cross. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. Look at these two white horse riders. Mm. This one, read, verse, read Revelation 19, verse 11 to 12. Revelation 19, verse 11 to 12 yes. says, uh, And I saw heaven open, yes. and behold the white horse. And I saw heaven open, and behold the white horse. Look at Revelation 6, white horse. Go mm here, -hmm. continue. And he that sat upon him he was had, called yes, it was true called. and true. Hallelujah. And in righteousness he doth judge yes. and make war. He's consistent. We know him. Hallelujah. We his know eyes him. were as a flame of fire. His eyes were the flame of fire. Mm. Hallelujah. Remember the Mount of Transfiguration. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus Christ. Continue. Yes, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a crown. On his head, many, oh, many crowns. crowns. Yes. This one, he has a crown given to him. Mm. But this one has many crowns. Mm -hmm. Can you see the contradistinction? Mm -hmm. There are two. These are two different personalities. Continue. He had a name written that no man knew but himself. He has a name written no man knew. But, yes. And was clothed, clothed with a vesture, a vesture dipped yes. in blood. Hallelujah. And his name is called the Word of God. And his name is called the Word of God. In the beginning was the Word, and the oh, Word wow. was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were created by him, and without him nothing was ever created. Praise the Lord. We know who this is. This one is the Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior of the whole universe. Mm -hmm. And he said, the armies, read verse 14. Of Revelation 11? Yeah. Yes. Revelation 19. Verse 14? Yes. And the armies which were in heaven yes. followed him yes. upon white horses. Yes, hallelujah. Clothed the fine linen and white, I mean, fine linen, white and clean. Mm -hmm. And out of his mouth got a sharp oh. sword. Hallelujah, which is a word. Hallelujah. That with it he should smite the nations. Yes. And he shall rule them with a rod of fire. Hallelujah. And he treaded the wine, the wine press mm. of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And he had on his vesture and on his tie a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. And I saw an angel standing in the sun, and he cried with a loud voice, saying, said, to King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Who are the lords and the kings that are? They are the armies that are following him. Mm. Will you be there? I will be there. 
Amen. That is the message of the hour. Will you be among those lords and kings that are following the King of kings and the Lord of lords? If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to give your life to him right now. Amen. You need to surrender your life. He can turn your life around. He said, as many as have believed him have been given power to become sons of God. Yes, be, if you are in Christ, you are a new creature. You have a hope, you have a destiny yes, to be sir. among those who will follow Jesus, to come and intervene in the Babel that will be happening around that and continue, brother. Okay. Yeah. I saw an angel standing in the sun and mm. he cried with a loud voice, mm. saying, to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, mm. come and gather yourselves together mm. unto the supper of the great God, mm. that ye may eat the flesh of kings, mm. and the flesh of captains, yes. and the flesh of mighty men, mm. and the flesh of horses, yes. and of them that sit on them, and the flesh of all men, both free and bound, both free and bound, both small and great. Yes, this is sadly. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth, mm, the and their world, armies, the one world government people. Yes, mm -hmm. and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and against his army. And the beast was taken, mm -hmm. and with him the false prophet, the beast, the antichrist man, the, the head of that government who came who came from the Europe, you know, mm -hmm. he was taken. And the false prophet who came from the US, mm -hmm. the false prophet who came from America mm -hmm. with the charismatic who was once with us but now gone out of us. Mm -hmm. Continue, brother. All right. Mm -hmm. That wrought miracles before mm -hmm. him with with which he deceived them mm -hmm. that had received the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. And them that worshipped his image, mm -hmm. these both were cast alive into a lake of fire, mm -hmm. burning with brimstone. Mm -hmm. And the remnant was slain with the sword of his of him that sat upon the horse, which sword proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were filled with their flesh. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In conclusion of this particular topic that we have treated for some time, mm -hmm. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, he, I w it is important that you to note what Apostle Paul spoke about in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. He said, we know in part and we prophesy in part. We speak inspired word in part. But when the perfect is come, the full, full peace is come, that which is in part shall be done away with. For we see now through God darkly. Now I want you to know that uh, in all these things we have said, we have spoken, we do not claim infallibility. Mm. We do not claim that we are the most perfect people. We do not claim that everything we have said is 100% perfect, but we know we have seen something. We know he has spoken us something. There is a man of God, Pastor Bakari used to say something. He said the best of all seers don't see everything. The best, you remember the case of Elisha? Mm -hmm. When that woman came, mm -hmm. I said, leave the woman. He said, her soul is troubled. Something has happened to her. He said, but God has hidden it from me. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Many ministers of this age, they avoid the prophetic maneuvers that come with end time events. Mm -hmm. All too many times in the past, people have jumped up to say this or that and whatever, and later the run of events prove them to be untrue. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes altogether being error or alarmist. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to have that thing, that gab of a false prophet. Mm -hmm. And so if everybody avoid end time commentaries mm -hmm. and uh, avoid making commentary of end time events like a plague because of the flimsy excuse of we want to protect our ego, mm -hmm. we want to protect, we don't want anybody, nobody desires to be disgraced by the by God mm -hmm. now who is going to blow the warning trumpet anyway mm -hmm. then who is going to tell tell the people who is going to sound the alarm when he says sound the alarm blow ye on the mountain top that Jesus is coming soon is our ego now coming ahead of our commission I know that he spoke to me and he gave me the wristwatch mm -hmm. and he says go tell the people mm -hmm. about the time mm -hmm. so we are the time watchers he gave the wristwatch and said, go tell my people the time. And so we are not disobedient of the heavenly vision. Praise the Lord. I, I believe you. in the fulfillment of the scriptures are multifaceted. There are scriptural lines that have several meanings. I believe that. I believe that. And I believe that the job of the servant of God for every disposition that has been called to the world ministry is to preach with a forceful urgency of what God has revealed to him. Noah 
prayed with forceful urgency. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The one way that the Holy Spirit drives you, you preach it. Amen. Yes. Leave the rest for God. Yes. As uh, 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 Habakkuk said, he said, the, word, the Lord told Habakkuk, he said, the vision is for an appointed time. He said, do it, tarry. Wait for it. He said, it will not lie. It will still come to pass. Mm. Now, I know, I, I have taken this stand that we are unprofitable servant. N not in terms of the fact that God is not going to prosper us or reward us, mm. but we are not going to share uh, ego. We are not going to rob our ego with that of God. Mm. We are sent on an assignment and we do it. Let the glory and the majesty and the honor be to him who has called us. He is the one. We are the clay. He is the potter. Let him let him mold us the way he wants. Praise the Lord. You know, if we don't have that, if you don't approach the work of God with that sensibility, you're going to crash. Amen? Because God, and I don't want to fall into the same problem that Jonah fell into. You see, Jonah had a problem. Jonah had an ego problem. Jonah was sent to go and warn the Navy. And Jonah knew God. He knew God as infinite mercy but he said god said arise go to nineveh and cry against it but jonah was familiar with the god's infinite mercies and capacity to be enduring he didn't want to go because he knew that god could have mercy on those people and eventually he went there and god had mercy on those people jonah was angry because he had been turned to a false prophet you know mm -hmm. in his own mind you know you know Praise the Lord. And the Lord, the Bible, in, in, in God had to give him, when he refused to go, God had to give him an hotel, like Pastor Baca used to say, in the fish. Mm -hmm. An hotel that you cannot check out from. Mm -hmm. That was when he started praying the prophetic prayer. Mm -hmm. And he said, those that observe lying vanities, they forsake their own mercy. Mm -hmm. I have not de I've decided not to observe lying vanities. That's why I preach all I preach to you in these several days. Mm -hmm. I know that prophecy could go this way and go this way, mm -hmm. but I know the word will not fail. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. What exactly that is God saying. God says the children of God should get ready and endure sound doctrine. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to know that in this time that is called the higher of deception, mm -hmm. how do you judge the direction you should go? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, you can tell the source of a doctrine by what it produces inside you. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Probably are called bratoks and whatever, what do you want to do? You can judge the source of a doctrine by the way the word, what the word produces in you. If that word produces fear, inactivity, anxiety, dependence of man, and escapism mm -hmm. in you. Mm -hmm. If the word that a doctrine is producing is creating fear, anxiety, dependence of man on how to escape, hey, 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 you know, you, know, you start feeling you cannot talk, a man has become God to you, that is not the word from God. But the word from God must be alike the spirit of god that produces faith hope victory trust in god it must produce endurance and consistency perseverance which is the love the fruit of the spirit praise the lord now is the time to tell everybody that jesus is coming now so please if you ever see what we have seen what you have discussed and see that hey it may not go like this it may go like this we have just done the work we can do we have given our own we are given perception. all perception, all our perception that we have. God remains sovereign. He decides on what he is. He has shown us a bit. There are larger other pictures that we did not see. The best of us here don't see everything. But in the meantime, I commit you to God, who is able to, who is able to hold you. He is able to give you an inheritance among the saints. I commit you to the word of God, who is able to save you to the uttermost. Who is going to settle peace in your home peace within your homes in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, reward all these people who have stayed glued to the television all these weeks listening to you. Let the word quicken them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every addiction, I break your power. In the name of Jesus. Every fear, I break your power. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Receive the power of the Most High God. In Jesus' name, peace within your homes. Victory, joy in the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. All right, dear beloved viewers, this is where we come to the end of this program for this weekend. We believe God has used this ministration to bless you tremendously. Next week, Samuel, they will ask to keep a date with us, but this time around, it's going to be a pastor for Labi on Ladele, who will be taking a, another series on another topic altogether. God bless you, and stay good. Hear the Spirit.